Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. I, a disciple of the God of Law, became the biggest villain at the beginning. Chapter 81. The Holy Empire, the palace, is heavily guarded. No matter who wants to enter the palace, they have to go through several searches to ensure that there is no danger before they are allowed to enter. As a prince of the empire, Lin An has a noble status and a special position, so he naturally does not need to do so. After arriving at the royal hall smoothly, Lin An also met his father. Dear father, his majesty of the holy empire, I greet you. Lin An bowed slightly and showed great respect to his father sitting on the throne. My dear child, you are finally back. Seeing Lin An, the current his majesty of the holy empire hurriedly came down from the throne, walked to Lin An, patted his shoulder and said, you are so cruel. You have been away for so many years and you don't even write me a letter. Don't you know that I miss you here alone? The words of this His Majesty of the Empire were full of resentment. He is nearly fifty years old, but because of his square appearance and majestic demeanor, he looks very young. However, the occasional gray in his golden hair clearly shows his real age. But it must be said that from his face, it can be vaguely recognized that when he was young, the Emperor of the Empire was also a graceful prince. Otherwise, it would be impossible to get the recognition of Lin En's mother. In front of outsiders, the Emperor of the Empire is very majestic, and every move contains the demeanor of the Emperor of the Empire. But in fact, this is just what he shows. In fact, the Emperor is not good at handling these state affairs. On the contrary, he only likes to read books, drink tea, and fiddle with some small gadgets he likes. If it weren't for Lin En's mysterious mother and Lin En's help, I'm afraid that the Empire would have messed up the Holy Empire long ago. Before Lin En left the Imperial Capital and went to the San Laurent Magic Academy, in order to let his father take care of the Empire, he specially left him a reminder. It is precisely with these reminders and the help of some ministers in the Empire that the Holy Empire runs smoothly. Simply put, Lin En's father is just a love-loving seed. Otherwise, he would not have given up the fight for the status of the Emperor of the Empire in order to be with Lin En's mother. Of course, it was precisely because of this that he stood out from the competition for the throne. He ascended the throne in a very magical way. It must be said that fate is really magical. Even Lin En, every time he heard his father talk about the past, he couldn't help but feel lucky for him. Compared with other so-called favorites of heaven and earth, sons of destiny who were born with destiny. His father is the real son of destiny. Thinking of this in his mind, Lin En said, isn't it back now? As he said this, he suddenly chuckled, besides, you probably don't want me to come back so early. As soon as this sentence came out, the emperor of the holy empire was embarrassed. How could he not be embarrassed? Although he had written a letter three years ago to ask his son's thoughts, Lin En did not ask much about this matter later, so he got what he wanted. But when Lin En really came back and asked about this matter, the Emperor of the Empire always felt embarrassed as if he was caught on the spot. After all, Lin En is the son of his first wife. But he wanted to ask Lin En if he could be allowed to remarry. Why, that woman is not here. Looking at his father's embarrassed expression, Lin En said with a smile. Because you came back, she went to the Church of the Holy See to pray for you. His Majesty of the Empire said quickly. Lin En nodded, in his opinion, praying for you is fake, hiding from him temporarily and watching from the dark is the real thing. When Lin En came to his father, he smelled a disgusting smell. This smell is the same as those so-called sons of destiny. His father couldn't have been reborn through time travel, so the only answer was that the woman who had fascinated his majesty the empire was definitely a time traveler. That woman didn't show up now, probably because she was watching from the dark, wanting to see what kind of attitude he, the prince of the empire and the disciple of the god of law, had. Then formulate a corresponding strategy based on his personality. Lin En sneered in his heart. Although his father had no ambitions, and strictly speaking, he was a love-brained person. But he was still his father after all. If he treated his father sincerely, Lin En would naturally not stop him. After all, this sacred continent is so vast, the empire is so powerful, and the palace is so deep it can accommodate ten women. But those so-called children of destiny, time travelers, and reborn people are all people with ulterior motives, and naturally they are not included in this list. 
Putting your mind on me is simply courting death. A murderous intent flashed through Lin En's mind, but his face remained calm. He greeted His Majesty the Empire and talked about some interesting things. Then I had lunch in the palace again at noon, and as usual, I told His Majesty some interesting stories. In the evening, Lin En moved to Lin En Castle. Lin En Castle is a smaller palace near the palace. This palace is where the crown prince can live, and the name is not fixed. After each new crown prince of the Holy Empire is born, the palace will be changed to the famous minister of the crown prince. In this generation, although Lin En is a little prince, he has an older brother and an older sister. But he is the only legitimate son, so he is the only one who is qualified to inherit the throne of the Holy Empire. The palace belonging to the crown prince is naturally named after him. In the afternoon, the sun shines down and falls on people, which looks warm. Under such eyes, even people seem a little lazy. In the palace, the golden bricks and tiles shine with colorful luster under the sunlight, gorgeous and noble. Lin En walked in a garden in the palace, the rich fragrance of flowers filled the air, with a sweet breath. His steps were a little calm and a little frivolous. If the meticulous etiquette officers in the palace saw him, they would naturally persuade him earnestly, but unfortunately there was only Lin En here at this time, and those royal etiquette officers were serving his father, the current emperor of the empire. Therefore, no one was nagging in his ear. It also gave Lin En some scenes. He walked slowly towards the depths of the garden. As expected, in a pavilion at a corner, a young and beautiful girl was lying on a stone table. She supported her head with one hand, and the other hand fell naturally, and a small handkerchief fell to the ground. Suddenly a breeze blew, and the handkerchief fell to Lin En's feet. The girl seemed to be immersed in a wonderful dream, and her head seemed to fall down little by little, looking innocent and cute. In the garden, some butterflies fluttered around her, flying up and down, adding a real interest to her. Undoubtedly, this is a very pleasant sight. But Lin En's face showed no appreciation. Instead, he looked at everything in front of him indifferently, with infinite alienation and coldness between his eyebrows. Behind him, the servants who followed Lin En couldn't help but shudder. Looking at the beautiful girl, he couldn't help but feel sad for her fate. The girl was dreaming. Lin En stood there, looking at her with cold eyes. After a while, the girl seemed to have dreamed of something bad, and she woke up instantly. Because she had just woken up, her eyes were hazy and confused. There was some crystal at the corner of her mouth, and she rubbed her eyes subconsciously, and then wiped the corner of her mouth. Then she sat on the chair and stretched her waist, showing her wonderful figure. And this whole set of actions showed all her advantages vividly. There was a trace of innocence in her naivety. And at this moment, she seemed to think of something, fumbled around her body, and then a look of panic appeared on her face. She found that her handkerchief was missing. She looked around in a panic, and finally saw her handkerchief not far away, and a smile suddenly appeared on her face. 597. She stood up quickly, holding the heavy court skirt with both hands and planned to run over. But at this moment, she suddenly stopped, because she saw a man standing next to the handkerchief. He was wearing a black robe, with a slender body, handsome face and a dignified demeanor. His eyes were indifferent, revealing a strong sense of alienation. His appearance was extraordinary, his eyebrows were as sharp as a knife, his skin was delicate, like a jade treasure, and he had a gentle temperament. He just stood there, with his hands behind his back, his face calm. The flowers blooming in the garden caught his eyes, but they could not make his emotions fluctuate at all. It was as if everything in the world was not worthy of his attention. Like a god, isolated from the world. The girl looked at him obsessively for a long time, and then she woke up as if she had just woken up from a dream. With a pilgrimage-like mood, she slowly walked to the man, her steps were slow, and she did not dare to make any sound. She bent down, holding the hem of her skirt with one hand, picked up the handkerchief with the other hand, and then slowly stood up. She looked up at Lin An, who was so close to her. With just the right amount of surprise and a dreamlike fantasy, she fixed her sight on Lin En's eyes. The moment their eyes met, the girl's eyes flickered, filled with surprise. From these beautiful eyes, you can see the sky full of stars. However, these are all backgrounds. Against the backdrop of the sky full of stars, there is only one figure in her eyes. My eyes can reflect the stars in the sky, but I only want to reflect you. 
Suddenly, this sentence will come to mind. Are you a god from heaven? The girl said with a chuckle. The voice was like the most beautiful wind chime in the world, echoing leisurely in the garden. At this moment, at this time, the whole yard is full of flowers, and the sun is shining, reflecting the golden color of the whole yard. They are both covered with a layer of golden light. Lin An, who is cold, noble, and independent. She is a girl who is cute and innocent, and the only one in her eyes. The moment their eyes met, time seemed to freeze at this moment. This was undoubtedly a very beautiful moment. But unfortunately, it only lasted for a moment. Lin An looked at the girl in front of him with indifference. She looked so pure and elegant, and so beautiful. What's more, the reverence and respect in her eyes were enough to make any man in the world intoxicated. After looking for a while, Lin An finally spoke. The magnetic voice resounded in this garden. Take her away. As soon as the words fell, several servants came out from behind Lin An, and they quickly came to the girl's side, moving quickly but without any noise. One person covered the girl's mouth from behind, and the other two assisted him to drag the girl away. The reverence in the girl's eyes slowly solidified, and the color of joy gradually rose. Her eyes gradually widened, and her pupils were filled with endless unbelievable and incredible, as if to say, how could there be such an unromantic man in the world? But this mood only lasted for a moment, and then she immediately began to struggle, and wanted to say something in her mouth. But because her mouth was covered, she could only make some unclear sounds. With her expression, it seemed that she was questioning Lin An, who are you, what do you want to do, and so on. But even these unclear words were not finished. The servant who covered her mouth exerted force, and the girl fainted immediately. Then he quickly took her away. After this incident, the garden finally calmed down. At this time, a gray-haired old man walked out from behind Lin An. He was the old butler who had let Lin An enter the palace. The old butler's name was Miles. He had forgotten his last name before, but later, because he served several generations of emperors very diligently, he was given the royal last name by the previous emperor. This made the old butler grateful. At this time, Miles, the chief butler of the palace, leaned forward, but his face was a little cold, and his eyebrows were full of murderous intent. Your Highness, this violet garden. He asked Lin En's opinion in a deep voice. Hearing this, Lin En said without hesitation, let's level it. Yes, Miles nodded slightly and said respectfully. Even though this violet garden was the favorite garden of the previous emperor, so what? Although it is not his highness who has become the emperor of the holy empire, everyone in the court, including the old people in the palace, knows that in the imperial family, his highness Lin Shi has the final say. Although he is just a little prince, he is the legitimate son of the empire. As long as there are no accidents in the future, he will definitely inherit the throne of the empire. How can there be any accidents with His Highness Lin En's strength? He is powerful, talented, and has a magic god teacher. More importantly, His Highness Lin En is unparalleled in wisdom and strategy. The reason why the empire has been able to prosper over the past decade is all due to His Highness's advice. To say something treasonous. In the hearts of Miles and even many court officials, the most respected person is Lin En. En, not the current imperial majesty. So, with the status of Lin En, what does it matter if he flattened a violet garden? Although during the few days when His Highness returned to the imperial capital and lived in the huge Lin En castle, Lin En has successively eradicated the Hyacinth Garden, Alfalfa Garden, Tulip Garden, Mandala Garden, Platycoden Garden, Iris Garden. Although this series of gardens were built by the last crown prince, the last crown prince, the last crown prince, the last crown prince. But then again, what does this count for? But speaking of reality, when I think of Lin what happened in the past few days after His Highness An returned to the imperial capital was something that even Miles, who had served in the palace for many years, could not help but find a little funny. Those women are really capable. No matter where His Highness is, they can come to meet him by chance. What about meeting in the theater, a piano piece that amazed the audience? What about accidentally entering a garden and wandering around without knowing the way back? What about sword dancing in a pond and reciting a masterpiece aloud? And so on. Miles really didn't know where these women got all these tricks from. But based on his experience of serving so many emperors, His Highness Lin En is now very impatient. 
He looked at the handsome Lin An and couldn't help thinking silently in his heart. His Highness is in the Crown Prince's palace, and there are obviously royal servants around him, but those women can't recognize him at all. Could it be that they think His Highness is a fool? It's no wonder that His Highness is impatient because of this. After all, no one will be happy when they meet a group of women who think they are fools. Ri, do you really think that His Highness Lin An will also follow the same old emperors? If those women really think so, then they are too naive. Which of the old royal family members like Miles and the many ministers in the court are not dukes and marquises? Which family is not at least passed down for hundreds or thousands of years? Which family does not have think tanks and military advisors? Why are they so convinced of His Highness? Why do they respect His Highness so much? Now the emperor of the empire is still strong and healthy, but many court officials have already begun to surrender to His Highness, and His Highness has no dissatisfaction. Such a thing would be impossible in previous dynasties. After all, for the sake of power, fathers and sons fighting for power is also a common thing for princes and nobles and even the imperial family. Why is there no such thing for His Highness Lin An? Of course, the fact that His Highness today is not interested in the throne of the emperor is also one aspect. But another, and very important aspect is that His Highness Lin An can be said to be the emperor of the empire. When His Highness was just born, the continent was in a sensation. Later, he was accepted as a predestined disciple by the god of magic and was given a gifted physique. During these sixteen years, although His Highness could not practice magic, he was always reading in the royal library. During this period, the empire experienced many turmoils. When His Highness was ten years old, there was turmoil in Borman County. This was originally an imperial territory annexed by the Holy Empire. Although it was vigorously developed after the annexation, the remnants of the annexed empire were still secretly planning to restore the country. They colluded with local officials, developed their power, and finally launched a rebellion. Once this happened, Borman County quickly fell. If it was not stopped, the rebellion would surely spread rapidly. At this time, His Highness personally commanded in the court, appointed Albert as the anti-rebellion marshal, and led the Bohemia Royal Knights to quickly quell the rebellion. Under the powerful military deterrence of the royal knights, the rebellion was quickly quelled. But this was just the beginning. Although the rebellion was quelled, it was a difficult problem to calm the boiling public sentiment. The court was arguing endlessly about this, and it was difficult to come up with an idea. It was also His Highness Lin An who gave advice and asked Albert to kill a group of rebel officials, officials who were not good at fighting, and officials who fled in the face of the enemy in Borman County. In addition, those who started the rebellion were also killed. At one time, the heads of people were killed, and the local nobles were in a panic. After all, many local officials, including those who could organize rebellions, were from local nobles. Otherwise, they would not be able to win over people. And the candidates for officials were basically selected from among them. And Lin En killed so many officials and nobles in a batch, how could they not panic? But the best trick came. After killing a batch, his Highness ordered Albert to let his dolly select local nobles to serve as officials. But not all nobles were pulled out to serve, but one group was won over and another was suppressed. In this way, the nobles who were won over gradually settled down. The suppressed nobles were completely sunk. Originally, they were still secretly colluding. If the empire was too harsh on them, the worst thing would be rebellion. After all, it was just death. But now, the internal connection immediately fell apart. In order to keep their current positions, the group of nobles who were won over did not hesitate to root out the suppressed nobles. In this way, they presented their loyalty to the empire. They thought that in this way, the empire would let them go and they could keep their own family business. But who knows, after getting these loyalty, Lin En promoted their titles in the name of imperial rewards. But they had to move to the imperial capital. As soon as the imperial edict came, they had to move. Otherwise, it would be disobeying the imperial edict. In this way, those nobles could only move from their bases to the imperial capital. There were groups of nobles in the imperial capital, and their strength was not enough to make a splash. And the forces they developed in the local area were all accepted by the officials sent by Lin En. In this way, the rebellion was quelled and the local area was peaceful. This is just a typical incident. In addition, there are many strategies from His Highness. 
when they are all used on the empire, they can almost play a great effect. Originally, the empire was expanding, and the internal corruption was endless. Under the means of His Highness Lin En, it soon became clear. It is worth mentioning that, when His Highness was 14 years old, the orcs in the north of the empire invaded, and the empire's defense line collapsed. The orcs rushed into the empire's territory for nearly 10,000 miles in less than half a day. When this matter was reported, the empire was furious. The court officials were shocked, and the people were panicked. It was also His Highness Lin En who stood up at this time. He immediately sent a large number of people to reinforce. At the same time, he also took advantage of the invasion of the orcs to sort out the local forces. Those officials who were in power but did not want to serve the empire, but only knew how to form cliques and engage in private interests were once again pulled out. At the same time, because the defense line collapsed, His Highness ordered a strong investigation and also pulled out a group of important officials in the court. These people were very powerful and it would be difficult to clean them up in the past, but at this time, the orcs invaded, and His Highness Lin En took this opportunity to punish them, confiscating their homes and exterminating their clans. A month later, the orcs were driven back outside the defense line. And the empire was also cleared up. There were many vacancies in the court, and many nobles wanted to get a share of the spoils, but His Highness Lin En was not in a hurry to place his own people, promote talents in an unconventional way, and reform the imperial system at the same time. In a short period of time, the imperial government was able to make smooth decisions and the people lived and worked in peace and contentment. This dynasty can be said to be the most prosperous dynasty since the founding of the empire. The people were all praising him. Even the nobles dared not say a word of disapproval. The court and the people were all peaceful. Everyone praised His Highness Lin En. It can be said that although His Highness Lin En was not the emperor of the empire, he was better than the emperor of the empire. Thinking of this, Miles had even more respect for Lin En. But at the same time, another idea came to his mind. Speaking of which, the several generations of imperial emperors he served, together with the emperors of all generations recorded by the royal historians, were all wise monarchs at the beginning of their accession to the throne. Work hard, be diligent, and want to make a great career. But unfortunately, when these emperors meet their destined other half, they will dote on them and then neglect the government. It is also lucky. The empire has been firmly in control of the throne until now, and there has been no major unrest in the court. It is even getting stronger and stronger, and finally unified the continent. In this generation, there is a saint like His Royal Highness Lin En. It has to be said that the imperial family really has the luck of heaven and earth. In fact, since Lin En went to Song Laurent Magic Academy to learn from the God of Magic, Many people in the court have speculated when the destined daughter of this prince will appear. Many officials have even begun to look for Lin En. Especially some princes and nobles, they are looking for daughters and granddaughters of the right age in their own homes. However, what many people regret is that until now, His Highness Lin En has not made any statement. This time His Highness returned to the imperial capital. Miles followed His Highness. When he first saw these women, he thought that His Highness's destined person had finally appeared. But he didn't expect that His Highness would be ruthless to these women with different styles. One appeared, one was dealt with. That's not all. After the disposal, it must be thoroughly investigated. Strictly investigate who arranged these women to appear. As long as it is found out, these people who arrange the appearance of the women will also be implicated. Under this series of unhesitating tactics, Miles really understood the second. His Highness Lin En is worthy of being born as a god. He is really completely different from the emperors of previous generations. Lin En didn't know what Miles was thinking. At this time, he was walking in the garden, seemingly admiring the violets. But in fact, his eyes never fell on these flowers that were competing to bloom and seemed to show their beauty in front of Lin En. He thought about what he had encountered in the past few days. Because those girls with different styles came to him in various ways. For this reason, Lin En had flattened too many landscapes after returning to Kyoto. Bamboo forests, gardens, pools, fountains. He even flattened a church of the Holy See. The bishop of the church did not stop him, but after hearing Lin En's words, he directly responded respectfully. Then he turned to the believers and said, This is God's will. In fact, 
Lin En flattened these exquisite buildings not because he didn't like them. He just didn't like the meaning behind these scenes. A woman as gentle and innocent as a violet, a woman as elegant and quiet as a hyacinth, a woman as lucky and lovely as a clover, a woman as noble and simple as a green bamboo. Each woman has a different style and temperament in each different scene. But, do these women set off by flowers really deserve these titles? And under these beautiful appearances, what kind of thoughts are hidden deep in the hearts of those women? No one knows. Just like his father, His Majesty the Empire, met that woman in a flower sea full of irises. In his father's narration, that woman is holy and noble, just as fascinating as irises. Righto, does she really deserve this honor? It has been several days since Lin En came back, but that woman has been praying in the Church of the Holy See and has never returned. To put it bluntly, she is secretly observing Lin En and wants to find out Lin En's attitude towards him. But Lin Lin En has not revealed anything so far, and his attitude towards these women made the woman undecided for a while. At first, Lin En was still interested in fighting with her. But after so many days, he was a little tired. His patience was completely worn out by these women. Sure enough, it is still the most convenient to be simple and rough. He thought so in his heart. After thinking through these things, Lin En's mood also changed a little. The Saint Domain Strongman, every move and every word, can affect the changes of the surrounding world. As Lin En's mood became more cheerful, the violets in the garden also bloomed more brightly. Wherever Lin En walked, the flowers also turned and greeted Lin En Shengjiwang. This wonderful scene made Miles and others secretly amazed. Although he had seen it many times following Lin En, he couldn't help but be surprised every time he saw it. Lin En admired it and picked a flower at random. He took it in his hand. It must be said that although his elders were not good at appreciating women, they were very unique in appreciating flowers. At least the emperors of all generations have worked hard in these aspects in order to please their destined daughters. Just like the violet garden that is about to be leveled, it was cultivated by the previous emperor. It is said that in this huge sea of violets, hundreds of thousands of flowers were planted. There are people who come to take care of it all year round. Every year when the flowers are in full bloom, violets compete to bloom and the fragrance of flowers is overwhelming. When the breeze blows, the flowers sway in the wind, like purple waves rolling, which can be said to be a great wonder of the imperial capital. However, although these flowers are beautiful, they are still a bit vulgar after all. After admiring them for a while, Lin En threw away the flowers he picked. And the flowers that lost Lin En's favor are also withering at a speed visible to the naked eye. After this garden is leveled, plant a lawn. Back quote, I want to see. In the future, will there be a woman who is as upward as a weed in this yard full of lawns? Lin En's words are full of expectations. But more, it is endless indifference. Yes, follow your will. Miles responded respectfully. But in his heart, he was thinking that His Highness Lin En's preferences are really different. The flowers planted by the previous emperors of the Holy Empire are different. But without exception, they are all very precious and difficult to raise, and they are all very bright and beautiful. But His Highness is good. These flattened gardens are basically planted with weeds and trees, and some are even reclaimed into farmland. This preference is really unpredictable. This thought popped up in Miles' mind, but he cut it off the next moment and then threw it behind his mind. It's okay to guess the master's preferences. But the problem is that you can't go deep into it, and you can't think about it with the master first. Otherwise, this is not to guess the master's preferences, but to be in charge. Miles has served so many majesties, and he has been able to become a big supervisor in the palace like an evergreen tree, and he has never been neglected for many years. In addition to his own strength, he also understands this truth. Never break the rules. Do what you should do, that's enough. After admiring the garden for a while, Lin En left here. As for Miles, he commanded some servants and maids, and the sea of flowers was flattened. With their own strength, it would be impossible to flatten this sea of flowers in a short time. So Miles specially called in several royal magicians, and a few fireballs burned all 100,000 violets. The raging fire spread and gradually engulfed all the violets. After they were all burned, the servants and maids renovated the land and then spread grass seeds. The remains of the flowers became nutrients for the lawn. 
The day of the Magic League's once-in-a-decade competition is getting closer and closer. More and more magicians are pouring into the imperial capital. In addition to magicians, there are many people watching the excitement, and even those who want to take advantage of this opportunity to cause trouble. Such as some dark wizards, wanted mercenaries and even orc spies, they are wantonly doing some small things in Kyoto. In addition, some magicians are used to being domineering in other places, and after coming to the imperial capital, they also rely on their respected status and run rampant in the imperial capital. For a time, the imperial capital was in a mess. However, they didn't jump around for long. The Royal Magic Corps and the Imperial City Guards who maintained the security of the Imperial Capital killed many magicians and spies with iron-blooded tactics. In addition, there was a seven-star great magician who killed people in the street, thinking that he could override the law with his cultivation, but was killed on the spot by a holy magician guarding the Imperial Capital. After this matter spread, those people became much more honest. They finally understood that this was the capital of the Holy Empire. Here, no matter what level of cultivation he had, he had to abide by the laws of the empire. If you dare to violate them, even if you are in the Holy Land, you will not be able to escape the blame. The participating teams of the four top magic academies have arrived. And the 32 magic academies recognized by the Magic Alliance have also led their teams to come. In addition, all kinds of magicians, big and small, even idle magicians and some old monsters who have been in seclusion and have not come out of the world, have brought their disciples here. The older generation came in person, some of them wanted to surpass their old friends in teaching their disciples, and by the way, they reminisced with old friends who had not seen each other for many years. And the young magicians are ambitious, hoping to win a good place in this magic competition. Once you become famous, you will be known all over the world. Under such circumstances, the much-anticipated Magic Alliance competition has finally kicked off. The auditions will last for five days. 3,000 magicians will be selected from participating magicians from all over the continent. Then these 3,000 people will enter the official competition with students from 32 Magic Academies, a total of 3,800 people. They will compete for the top 300 places. Lin En and others did not participate in the audition. The elders of the Magic Alliance are now competing. Under their auspices, the audition was successfully completed, and finally 3,000 young magicians stood out. Among these 3,000 outstanding young magicians, some have successfully made a name for themselves. Among them, several are the most talked about. One is from a remote town in the southern end of the empire. This person is said to be the fool of a certain marquee. Because he was not valued, he was exiled to a remote area and became the lord of a small town. After becoming the lord of the city, this person quickly showed his extraordinary talent. Not only did he develop his city into a very lively and prosperous one, but he also recruited many excellent and powerful magicians to serve him. His business developed very rapidly. The thing called, soap, he made was not only popular locally, but also sold to other provinces and the perfume he produced was deeply loved by noble women. It is said that several large chambers of commerce on the mainland have cooperated with it, and it has been rolled out on the road. Even some noble women in the imperial capital have begun to use it. And they like it very much. That's not all. This Marquise's fool is also said to have a very good magic talent. While he vigorously developed his city, his own magic cultivation did not fall behind. In a short period of time, he has the cultivation of a five-star great magician. This time, he brought the magicians around him to participate, intending to win a good place in this magic competition. In addition, there is another person who is very worthy of people's heated discussion. This person is self-sufficient, and is obviously just a magician with ordinary talent. But strangely, his magic cultivation progress is growing very fast. Five years ago, People who knew him found that this person could not practice, but five years later, he has not only become a powerful six-star wizard, but also a powerful magician. There was actually a giant dragon around him who recognized him as his master. This is a giant dragon. Although it is just a very ordinary fire dragon. But you have to know that every giant dragon has a powerful strength comparable to the holy land after adulthood. But now, this adult dragon actually surrendered to a six-star magician. Many people were secretly wondering. They guessed that perhaps this young magician had some amazing adventures.
As for another popular figure, he was more mysterious. No one knew where he came from, and no one knew who he was. He seemed to appear suddenly. He appeared in the north of the continent three years ago, and then killed a group of thieves who were roaming in the north by himself. The strength of that group of thieves was very good, and it was said that the leader had the power comparable to that of a fifth-level knight. But he was still killed cleanly by this person. The most strange thing is that this person clearly has no magic power in his body, but he can perform all kinds of magical methods. In this competition, he held a strange wooden sword, and when he waved his hand, he sprinkled some yellow talisman paper, and then summoned energy of various attributes. Freeze. Flame. Thunder. It can be said that there are endless. His opponents were defeated by this strange method. There is another one. Obviously, his magic cultivation has only reached the level of a three-star magician, but he opened a magic school in a deserted mountain. More importantly, there are some people with strong strength serving as teachers in the school. And this person is also very arrogant. He always tells everyone that he wants to build his magic school into the top magic school on the continent. He also said that in terms of foundation, the Saint Laurent Magic School and the Royal Magic School can't compare at all. Many people regard him as a fool. It has to be said that this Magic Alliance competition attracted many strange people. But without exception, although these strange people are annoying to a certain extent, but their strength is beyond doubt. Many people opened the odds privately, and people rushed to bet on the people they liked to advance to the top 300. During this period of time, Lin An has been staying in the Magic League. He has heard all the rumors from the outside world. But he didn't pay much attention to it. In his opinion, those strange people are undoubtedly some kind of lucky children. But don't worry, since the other party participated in this competition, they can't escape from Lin An's palm. In the midst of the turmoil here, the auditions are over. And the official competition has also begun. When the elders of the Magic League invited him, Lin En was ready and went to the competition venue in front. As the leader of the four top magic academies. In addition, he is also a disciple of the god of law, Vino. Although the Magic League had already reserved the judges before, it didn't add a second one specifically for Lin En. In addition to the five main judges. A special judge mentor specially established. The official competition was held in a huge square in the imperial capital, which was large enough to accommodate hundreds of thousands of people. When the competition officially started, the venue was already crowded. Countless magicians, onlookers, and nobles of the imperial capital took their seats, waiting for the official start of the competition. Under their watch, 3,000 magic rookies who have risen in the past 10 years in the empire will show their style. This place gathers magic schools from the entire continent, as well as many powerful people. It is no exaggeration to say that anyone who can show his talent here will spread his reputation throughout the continent in the shortest time. The Magic Monthly Report under the Magic Alliance has been waiting for a long time. Once there is a brilliant magician, it will be recorded, then printed into a book, and spread to every magic union on the continent. On the huge square, there is a huge terrace. There are hundreds of seats on the terrace. Those who can sit here are all elders from the Magic Alliance, leaders in various magic industries, the Empire's top nobles, and powerful magicians from all over the continent. In short, no matter their status or strength, they are the top few people on the mainland. They were invited by the Magic Alliance to serve as notaries to witness this grand event. In the middle of these hundreds of seats, there are five larger seats. These are the five judges of the competition. They are the Holy Domain mentors stationed in the Imperial Capital by the Saint Laurent Magic Academy, the Bohemia Magic Academy, the Warden Magic Academy, and the Royal Magic Academy, as well as the Royal Holy Magician of the Imperial Family. They form the five judges. In addition, in addition to the five judges, there is also a most gorgeous chair. Although this chair is on the side, it is higher than all the seats. Because the person sitting on this chair is the Prince of the Empire, the disciple of the god of law, and the holy magician who is now famous on the mainland, Lin An your highness. As time went by, hundreds of notaries have arrived one after another. And every time someone sat down, a magician would use some magic to announce their identity to the entire venue. At the same time, there would be a cheer and noise in the venue. Look, the one sitting down now is Master Morden of the Magic Alliance, he is a master of alchemy. Oh my god, look who is here. 
Duke Wilson is here too, and he brought his most beloved daughter with him, oh my god. My god, what did I see, it was Lisa, the chief auctioneer of the largest auction house in the continent, Sky Shield Auction House, Lisa, she is so beautiful. Wow, she actually smiled, she smiled, I feel like I'm intoxicated. Elder Gwell Ryan is here too, as a senior elder of the Magic Alliance, it is said that he is ready to impact the saint level and is in seclusion after such a long time, I didn't expect that he would come out this time. Sir Simon is the god of war guarding the southern region of the empire, Sir Simon, the holy knight. It is said that he has just ended the war from the southern region and repelled the invading dog-headed people. I didn't expect that he would come back to watch this competition. He must have felt the grandeur of this grand ceremony, so come and see the excitement. Cheers and exclamations resounded in every corner of the venue. On the terrace, everyone who sat down smiled and gestured. As they sat down, the five judges arrived one after another. These five people represent the four top magic schools and the royal family. Each of them is a senior holy mage, at least ranked among the forbidden spell masters. Each of them has a legendary story on the continent. And when they appeared and sat down, the venue was once again filled with cheers, like a tsunami. The last one to arrive was Lin En. When the elder of the alliance presiding over the meeting announced Lin En's arrival and Lin En's figure instantly appeared at his position, the atmosphere of the entire venue reached its peak at this moment. Countless people shouted frantically, calling Lin En's name. Although Lin En was not active on the continent, his legendary stories were circulated on the continent for a long time. Therefore, the young magicians here grew up with Lin En's legendary stories. Because of this, when Lin En appeared, everyone instantly entered a state of madness. The sound of mountains and tsunamis filled the sky above the venue. It even spread far away, and even the huge imperial capital could vaguely hear it. His Highness Lin En, it's His Highness Lin En. Oh my god, even His Highness Lin En has appeared, I am not dreaming. His Highness Lin En is so beautiful, I feel like I have fallen in love with His Highness Lin En uncontrollably. It is said that His Highness took less than two years to enter the ranks of Holy Magisters, His Highness is so amazing. With His Highness in the Holy Empire, the future will definitely get better and better. His Highness, His Highness. Amid the cheers, some women were very bold to express their love to Lin En. And their actions not only did not cause others to despise them, but also made people around them envy her courage. After all, in front of such a perfect person like His Highness Lin En, most people will uncontrollably emerge with inferiority. Being able to muster up the courage to express love is already commendable enough. In the huge venue, 100,000 people cheered together. The sound caused was so loud that even the holy domain mages were amazed. Many people on the terrace looked at the scene below and subconsciously focused their eyes on Lin En. Such popularity is really terrifying. It is so terrifying that these old monsters who have lived for countless years and have looked down on the secular world can't help but feel jealous. Is this the charm of His Highness? They thought so in their hearts. Looking at Lin En's young and flawless face. And Lin En still had a calm face and calm eyes in the face of such cheers, without any fluctuations. It seems that the cheers of those people in the audience are not directed at him at all. A thought suddenly emerged in everyone's mind. Don't worry about having no friends on the road ahead, everyone in the world knows you. This is what Lin En's mother, the amazing woman who is famous throughout the continent, once said. Now, they put this sentence on Lin En. But they found that it was so appropriate. It's not just the strong men on the terrace who have such thoughts. Those who are in the preparation area, waiting to go on stage to compete with other young magicians for rankings. At this moment, Looking at the high and mighty Lin En, similar thoughts also emerged in my mind. Of course, there are some people who have some other ideas. He can replace him. Reuben in the crowd looked at the high and mighty Lin En, and this thought came to his mind. He was not originally from this world. By chance, he traveled to this continent and became the fool of a Marquis of the Holy Empire. His previous life was not valued by the Marquis because of his mother's background. In addition, he did not have any magical talent, so after he became an adult, he was only assigned a small town near the coast in a remote area and was sent away by the Marquis. On the way to his fiefdom, the Marquis's fool encountered a thief on the road because he had no knights following him, and ended up using a sword. 
Although the thief was driven away under the desperate protection of the guards, he also died. At this time, a person from another world traveled over and successfully occupied this body, becoming Reuben. After coming to this world at the same time, he got the system. 303. The system would occasionally issue him some tasks. As long as he built his own fiefdom, he could get a certain amount of blessing. Relying on the system, Reuben began to develop on his small fiefdom, building towns, developing population, recruiting magicians, training soldiers. Under such circumstances, his fiefdom was originally just a small town with only two or three thousand people. Now, in just a few years, it has become a large city of considerable size. It has a population of more than 100,000. The city is also well planned, with straight and clean roads and orderly arrangement of houses. The people in the fiefdom respect him very much. Various workshops and businesses are also developing in an orderly manner, and even the, the soap and perfume produced by the system have become hot selling products on the mainland. It can be said that he is making a fortune every day. On the other hand, relying on the system, he also has a talent for magic. Not only has he improved his magic to the level of a five-star grade magician, but he has also cultivated his fighting spirit at the same time. And the strength of his fighting spirit is also good, and he has already had the power comparable to that of a fourth-level knight. He has also recruited some magicians and talents from all walks of life. What made Reuben most satisfied was that the system issued a task last year, and he completed it with great difficulty. He received a generous reward and elderly eight-star magician joined him. This magician originally just planned to travel on the road and accidentally passed by his fiefdom. But because of the influence of the system, and his fiefdom filled with all kinds of magical things, the magician was attracted and stayed here. Although he has not sworn allegiance yet, he is already equivalent to a guest elder. And this year, after hearing that the Magic Alliance held a competition held every ten years, Reuben, who had been developing Loki for several years, decided to make his name known, so he led the young magicians in his fiefdom to come. Intend to show his skills. In order to ensure safety on the road, he brought this eight-star magician. At the same time, he also brought most of the funds of his fiefdom. After everything was ready, he set out on the journey with great ambition. After three months of difficult journey, he finally arrived at the imperial capital. And after arriving at the imperial capital, the most prosperous city on the continent, Reuben realized how ignorant he was before. In the center of this continent, magicians are everywhere. Young and excellent magicians can be seen everywhere, and their cultivation is stronger than Reuben who has a system. This dealt a big blow to Reuben. But he did not sink because of this, but quickly cheered up. He believed. Maybe his starting point is not very high now, but he will definitely go further in the future. He passed the audition and successfully entered the official competition. Today, he will compete with other outstanding magicians on the continent for the top 300 places. He saw many powerful magicians, and he also felt the powerful aura surging from those magicians. Eight-star and nine-star magicians can be seen everywhere, and even on the huge terrace, there are many holy magicians with auras like the abyss. He told himself in his heart that only the Holy Land is his current goal. He wants to stand at the top of the continent. He wants everyone to know about his deeds. Later, when Lin En appeared, he saw so many people cheering in the audience. He was shocked by his popularity. He also shouted in his heart. He can replace him. Only such a person is my goal. I want to catch up with him, or even surpass him. Finally, let everyone on the continent sing my story. Let everyone know that in the holy continent, I, Reuben, am the only legend. He shouted in his heart. However, to achieve such a goal, he must first win a good ranking in this competition. At least, he must be among the former kings. Reuben thought so. But it is not so easy to be in the top ten. Reuben saw several young magicians who were not very old, but their magic skills had reached the level of six-star or even seven-star grade magicians. For these, although Reuben was shocked that their skills were improved so quickly, he was not very afraid. After all, he had a system and many trump cards. Even if they are not opponents, they can ensure that they will not lose. In addition, he also noticed that several people in the crowd were special. A young magician with mediocre talent, but who was joined by a giant dragon. This is a strong enemy. 
There is also a guy who uses talisman paper to make a wooden sword. This person does not seem to be very powerful, but when Reuben learned about it, his face was weird. Because this is too similar to the Taoist method in his previous life. He suspected that this person was also a time traveler, but because he had not seen it with his own eyes, he could not be sure. There is also a guy who opened his own magic school. This person has been very famous recently, but it is just a bad reputation. Recently, many people in the imperial capital have been using him for entertainment after dinner. Of course, Reuben has also survived this person. This person's tone is very arrogant, often saying shocking things, and he is very rude, but it is undeniable that he is very powerful in magic. Most importantly, Reuben found through rumors from the outside world that this arrogant guy's behavior and tone are somewhat similar to his. This made him a little suspicious and thought that this guy might also be a time traveler. In addition, there are many people worth noting. More importantly, Reuben also knew that when they reached the peak competition, students from the four major magic academies would enter. Reuben did not arrogantly think that these students were vulnerable. He knew very well that these people came from the most top-notch universities on the continent, and they must be the elites of the continent, geniuses among geniuses. They should definitely not be underestimated. If you underestimate them, you will definitely suffer a great loss. After summing up, Reuben knew that if he wanted to win the top 10, it would be too difficult. But, there is no easy thing in this world. What's more, Reuben's eyes fell on the lonely figure on the terrace. His target, but Lin An. From now on, the Magic League's official competition, which is held once every 10 years, begins now. This competition will be held by drawing lots. Each contestant will be given a number. Those who are drawn into a group will fight. Only the winner can advance to the next round. At the venue, a magician who was hosting the competition was reading out the rules of this competition. Everyone focused their attention on the venue. Even the powerful people on the terrace lowered their eyes and talked to the people around them about a young magician they had chosen. Only Lin En sat in his seat somewhat bored. After all, a battle of this level was really nothing to watch for him. But what attracted his attention more were those special people. For example, when Reuben was looking at him, Lin En felt it very keenly. There were also a few other special people. Lin En was interested in them. A melee between travelers. He thought so, with a smile on his face. Quote dot 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 dot. The competition officially begins. The magician who hosted the competition finally finished talking about the rules and then announced the start. After the 3,000 young magicians who entered the official competition drew lots, those whose names and numbers were called stood up to compete with their opponents. They prepared for this competition for a long time. Everyone was trying their best, hoping to make a splash. For a while, all kinds of means were used on the field, and strange phenomena appeared. The audience watched with relish, and burst into exclamations from time to time. The competition progressed very quickly. More than 2,000 people were eliminated in a short time. Reuben's strength was not very high among the crowd, belonging to the upper middle level. But because he had a lot of trump cards, he solved all the opponents he met cleanly. Soon, he attracted people's attention. And this time, after Reuben finished a competition, he rested for a while, and heard the draw call him. No, 1033 Reuben bot, against no. 208 Christy Corey, please enter the number 10 ring. Hearing his name, Reuben stood up and stepped onto the number 10 ring. At this time, he saw the guy who was suspected to be a time traveler in the adjacent arena, who was using a wooden sword and talisman paper, had just defeated his opponent and was leaving the stage. When he saw the other party, the other party seemed to have sensed something and cast his eyes at the same time. The moment their eyes met, Reuben's eyes instantly fixed. Because the other party was wearing a Taoist robe. The moon white Taoist robe was completely different from the clothes in this world. When he saw this scene, Reuben immediately determined that this person was definitely a time traveler. The two of them looked at each other, and the other nodded slightly, and then left. Reuben frowned, feeling a little solemn. I am indeed not the only time traveler in this world. Since there is this Taoist priest, the other suspected people are almost certain. I didn't expect that. Reuben was most proud of his identity as a time traveler in this world. He had a vision beyond the natives of this world, 
and he also had a system, so he didn't care much about the natives of this world. Because he believed that as long as he kept to himself and developed in a low-key manner, he would be able to stand at the top sooner or later. But now a time traveler has also appeared. This disrupted his established rhythm. After all, family members know their own affairs. As a time traveler, he was bound to the system after traveling. Then if others are also time travelers, will they also have a system? If the other party has a system, it's fine. If not, with his growth trajectory, the other party can easily guess that he has a golden finger and then he might spread his system. Reuben believes that once the existence of the system and the golden finger is exposed, the powerful magicians in this world will definitely be curious about it. And when the magicians in the sacred realm look at him, he will be in danger. After all, there are indeed too many secrets in him that cannot be explained by common sense. Once exposed, he will definitely die. Take the initiative to come to the door and ask for cooperation. Reuben also had this thought in his mind. But as soon as it appeared, it was extinguished by him. The thoughts of the traversers are complicated and changeable, and no one can be sure whether the other party will feel disgusted with him. Rather than cooperating under the condition of mutual vigilance, it is better to kill the other party. Judge others by yourself. He knows very well what these people who are also traversers are thinking. The biggest possibility is to stab each other and kill each other. Because only in this way can you ensure that you are absolutely detached from the world. You will definitely have an advantage. After all, one more time traveler means one more danger. For example, if Reuben is given a chance now, he will kill these fellow time travelers without hesitation. There will be absolutely no mercy. Thinking of this, Reuben's face froze. This is bad. After confirming that the other party is a time traveler, he felt a great sense of urgency in his heart. Although judging from the other party's situation, he will not do something that hurts the enemy by a thousand and hurts himself by eight hundred, but Reuben still has to be on guard. It's better to be safe than sorry. Your life must not be in the hands of others. More importantly, there are several time travelers that I can confirm or even suspect. God knows, are there any time travelers hiding in the dark? Compared to the time travelers in the open, those who hide in the dark are the most terrifying. Reuben is in a very heavy mood. At this time, his opponent has already come on stage. Seeing Reuben in a trance, he was immediately a little unhappy. Both of them were five elements great magicians, but Reuben looked down on him so much, which made the young magician very unhappy. You look down on me so much, I'll show you how powerful I am. When the competition was announced to start, the young magician attacked angrily. As soon as he came up, he used his strongest means. He caught Reuben, who was in a trance, off guard. But fortunately, Reuben had many means and many trump cards, and he finally turned the situation around. In the end, he used a trump card to defeat his opponent and won this victory. The referee presiding over the ring announced his victory. Reuben successfully entered the top 300 sequence, but he was not happy in his heart. With a complicated mind, he returned to his position and continued to think. What Reuben, who was in a trance, did not find was. From the time he entered the ring to the end, many contestants had been secretly looking at him. Such as the Taoist priest wearing a Taoist robe and using a wooden sword. For example, the arrogant young man who opened a magic school. Or the young magician with a giant dragon by his side. They looked at Reuben, with some unpredictable emotions flashing in their eyes. And on the terrace, Lin En saw it all clearly. See. He chuckled, and some interest was raised in his heart, it's getting more and more interesting. These visitors from other worlds are very powerful. As expected, they all successfully entered the top 300 and qualified for the peak competition. After a whole day of competition, it was already evening. The peak showdown of the top 300 will be held tomorrow. At that time, students from the four top magic academies will also take the stage to compete for 32 tickets. That night, although the competition was temporarily suspended, but the audience was still enthusiastic. When the show was over, they were still discussing the magicians who played during the day. Some of the outstanding performers became the hot topics of their discussion. At the same time, the newspapers of the Magic League also reported on this competition immediately. 
In addition to the front page headlines recording the grand occasion of the competition, a supplement was added to introduce some very outstanding magicians. The newspapers of the Magic League will be printed and published and distributed to all cities where magic unions are stationed. Many magicians will subscribe to it specifically to learn about the relevant news and recent events in the magic world. This also means that if nothing unexpected happens, when the newspapers are distributed to major cities, these young magicians will officially enter the eyes of magicians across the continent. This is the first step to their fame on the continent. The Magic League's once-in-a-decade competition officially begins today. Young magicians from all over the holy continent will compete fiercely here. Today, the top 300 places in the league competition will be officially selected, and the peak showdown will begin tomorrow. The four top Magic Academies are about to finish their studies. Which Magic Academy are you looking forward to? The Bahinia Magic Academy has made a bold statement that it must win the first place this year and break St. Lawrence five consecutive championships. Song Laurent smiled and did not comment on this matter. A talented magician has emerged from the Warden Magic Academy, aiming to be in the top three. In the newspaper workshop of the Magic League, one after another, the terrifying and exaggerated headlines were printed into books and were about to meet magicians across the continent. The next morning, with the magic newspapers covering the streets and alleys, everyone's focus was also focused on today's competition. Although the Magic League's peak showdown has not yet begun, the atmosphere has already reached the top. For the Magic League, which has held so many competitions, they are very skilled in how to hold competitions and how to mobilize the audience's emotions. Therefore, when the audience entered the venue and saw the players who stepped into the peak competition coming in, cheers, applause and even screams had already resounded throughout the venue. The sound waves were connected and spread far away, spreading throughout the entire imperial capital. The earth was shaking because of such sound waves, and the clouds in the sky were torn apart. Such momentum seemed to overturn the sky. All the players who stepped into the top 300 felt the cheers of hundreds of thousands of spectators around them. Even if these people are extraordinary talents. Even if they have long been accustomed to being the center of attention. But it is inevitable that they are excited and their faces are red because of such scenes. Regardless of whether they have extraordinary character, have lived two lives, or are mature at a young age, they all feel the long-lost passion at this moment. They are more determined about their goals. Today, the Alliance competition has entered the peak match. 300 young and outstanding magicians on the continent will compete here to compete for the 32 Secret Realm admission tickets. And next, the students of our four magic academies will enter. As we all know, the four magic academies are the top magic academies on our continent. Every student who can enter them is the top talent on the continent. We look forward to their performance. Accompanied by the voice of the presiding elder, it spread far to every corner of the venue. The students of the four magic academies finally appeared. And the venue once again erupted with cheers and shouts that were louder than before. Compared to those magicians who fought all the way up from the bottom to compete for the quota. The students of the four magic academies have received special attention from the beginning because of their background. And their popularity has also been infinitely increased because of the four magic academies. The students of Saint Laurent Magic Academy are all wearing black robes and wearing the Saint Laurent School badge on their chests. They hold their heads high and are full of energy. They will compete for these 10 tabi under the gaze of hundreds of thousands of people. Among the 30 contestants of Saint Laurent 3, Rosa, Adeline and Blair were among them. Lin N glanced at them and found nothing unusual, so he looked away. He looked at the other three magic schools. He wanted to see if there were any special people in these three magic schools. After taking a look, Lin En really found something interesting. His former student, the seemingly lucky Lilith, was now standing in the queue of participating students of the Bahinia Magic School. After not seeing each other for a few years, Lilith had changed drastically from her previous sallow skin. She was wearing a black long dress that fit her body perfectly. Her long hair was slightly curled and wavy. Her face was delicate, her skin was fine, and her eyes were shining with a charming light. On her wrist, she wore a string of dazzling gems. The gems were dazzling, and her skin was dazzling. Now, she stood in the crowd, but she had a sense of standing out from the crowd. She was just chuckling casually, but such a smile made most men deeply fascinated. 
especially in the student queue of Bahinia Magic Academy, the male magicians who were close to her could only stare at her blankly at this moment, with a fiery light in their hearts. Even a child, with such a simple look, could clearly understand that this was the look of love and decadence. In the past few years, after Lilith moved to the imperial capital, she relied on the system to make her face gradually beautiful, and soon she got along well in the imperial capital. In addition, she also strengthened her magic talent, which made her favored by some big men. When she heard the news of the Magic Alliance competition, she also revealed the idea of participating, relying on her talent and charm. Of course, it was mainly charm. Naturally, there were countless nobles willing to serve her. Therefore, she entered the competition queue of Bahinia Magic Academy without much effort. At this moment, looking at Lilith standing in the crowd enjoying the gazes of countless men. Lin En, who was on the terrace, smiled quietly. The withering of flowers often begins from the most vivid moment. I wonder if this lucky person is ready. Because of the special nature of the peak competition, each excellent magician is very powerful, so the result cannot be determined by a single win or loss. According to past practice, the competition adopts a points system. In the circular battle, the winner adds one point and the loser loses one point. Finally, the top 32 will be selected according to the points ranking. In order to ensure that each magician maintains the peak level in every battle, there are special holy magicians and priests of the church on the side. Once a magician is injured or the magic power is consumed too much, he will be treated and replenished. Ensure that every battle is flawless. And in such a circular melee, there is no doubt that the game will be more enjoyable. After all, the opponents you face are different, the opponent's moves are different, and the response methods you adopt are naturally different. This greatly promotes that each contestant will stimulate their potential and make their fighting magic more flexible. In fact, this is also to train young magicians. After all, the purpose of this competition is not to let magicians fight bravely, but to find young and excellent magicians and train them. Allowing them to develop better, rise faster, and inject fresh vitality into the current magic world. Increasing their combat experience is naturally one of them. Under such circumstances, the 100 magicians from the four magic academies, together with the 200 people who advanced to level, had a melee. Those magicians who fought in the auditions had traveled on the road in the past and had rich combat experience. Therefore, their methods were treacherous and changeable, making it difficult to guard against. The students from the four top magic academies have a deep foundation and a solid foundation, plus they have many trump cards. The mutual fighting can be said to be a variety of methods, which makes the audience full of eye addiction. Even the strong men on the terrace were all refreshed and watched attentively. At the peak competition, almost every contestant was at least a five-star magician. They already belong to the mainstream of the current mainland magic world, and even slightly higher end combat power. Such a battle can naturally attract the attention of the strong men in the Holy Land. While watching, they made comments. The quality of this session is much better than the last session. In the last magic competition, I remember that there were four-star magicians and even three-star magicians at the peak. And this time, the lowest is a five-star magician, and there are even seven-star great magicians. There are really talents in every generation. Your Warden School of Magic has produced several good seedlings this year. No, no, I think your Bahinia is not bad either. On the terrace, a group of strong men whispered to each other. And on the judge's bench, the two sanctuary judges from Warden and Bahinia School of Magic said with a smile. Although their participating students were tit for tat in the competition, at their stage, those small frictions were not worth mentioning at all. It was purely used to train students. Compared with the tit for tat of the students, the relationship between the upper echelons of the four major magic schools, although not very close, was also very harmonious. There are various exchanges and cooperation almost every year. After all, the source of magic is knowledge. Only by communicating with each other can knowledge be advanced and magic be innovated. The times are progressing and magic is developing. It is not feasible to work in isolation. The strong men of the Holy Land are far-sighted and naturally understand this truth. In contrast, the royal family's royal magician, as well as the representatives of the Royal Magic Academy and the Saint Laurent Magic Academy, are sitting on the Daoyutai. Still looking at the venue, no comment was made. As for Lin An, 
he was also looking at the ring. During this period, he found something very interesting. Those very special people may know that the other party is a time traveler. Therefore, in the melee, they deliberately ignored each other. Try to avoid fighting with the other party. Seeing this scene, Lin En smiled. He knew what this group of time travelers were thinking. Of course, it was not a win-win situation. But they all deeply understood that as time travelers, they definitely have strong trump cards AJED. Instead of fighting with each other, showing trump cards everywhere, and increasing the risk of exposure. It is better to avoid conflicts to prevent someone from taking advantage of the conflict. However, their calculations are good. But in the end, it is just a naive idea. Lin En didn't want to see this group of time travelers saying, Hello, I'm fine, everyone is fine. If he wanted this group of time travelers to attack each other, it would be best if some conflicts could arise. Thinking of this, Lin En sent a message to an elder of the Magic Alliance. The elder seemed very surprised to receive Lin En's message, but he didn't come over without hesitation. Your Highness, what do you want? The elder was only an eight-star magician, but he was already very old. There is no hope for the Holy Land in this life, and in the end he can only be obsessed with worldly power. Seeing Lin En had an order, he was surprised, but also had some expectations in his heart. If he could do something for his highness and be appreciated by his highness, he might be able to go further. Thinking of this, his attitude became more respectful. Lin En said softly, you do this. After hearing Lin En's order, the elder was stunned for a moment, but soon came back to his senses and said, I will follow your will. Quote, the peak competition adopts a points system, which is a random melee. That is to say, in principle, anyone can become your opponent. But in fact, this system has certain loopholes. For example, the 10 arenas are different, and the time it takes for each person to complete the battle is also different. If you want to avoid fighting with a certain enemy, then control your time and rhythm, and try to stagger your opponent's time. This way you won't encounter each other. Reuben just finished a battle and won the victory smoothly, and got some points again. At this time, his points ranked 27th among the 300 people, ranking in the middle and lower level of the 32 people. This is the result of his best efforts. After all, he is only at the level of a 5-star great magician. Although there are some trump cards, but every opponent should not be underestimated, and the students of the four top magic academies are even more powerful. He thought it was great to be able to occupy such a ranking. After receiving treatment from the holy mage and the priest, Reuben was just about to go back to watch the game. Everyone will have a period of rest after fighting. Let the players take a break. After all, even with the priest's treatment and magic recovery, the spirit of returning to the magic city will still be exhausted. However, what he didn't expect was that he just returned to his position and heard the host's voice from the venue. Reuben, face Li Fei. Please go to the number 7 ring and prepare for the battle. Hearing this voice, Reuben's face changed immediately. Because Li Fei is the Taoist priest. Chapter 91. He had obviously avoided Li Fei, so why was he still put together? Robin's face remained unchanged, but in fact, there was a storm in his heart. He glanced at the terrace obscurely. However, those people on the field did not look at him, which made Reuben unsure for a moment. Was it an accident or intentional? While thinking, Reuben walked onto the stage. At the same time, the Taoist named Li Fei also walked onto the stage slowly with a wooden sword on his back. His face was as calm as Reuben's, and his eyes were also calm, as if he didn't care about it. Even when Reuben was put together, he didn't show any surprise. The two stood on the stage and greeted each other. Robin Bot, a five-star magician, greets you. Li Fei. When they greeted each other, their eyes met. Without giving them too much time to think, as they finished the greeting, the host announced the start of the game. At the same time, the fight between the two of them also attracted too many people's attention. One was the emerging Reuben. Although his magic level is not very high, his strength is very strong. He defeated many magicians with higher levels than him in the arena. And the current points have reached the 27th place, attracting the attention of many people. Some great nobles in the imperial capital have even begun to inquire about Reuben's identity, wondering if they can recruit him as a son-in-law. As for Li Fei, 
his identity is very mysterious, and no one knows where he is from. More importantly, his skills are different from the current magic, as if it is a new way of practice. It is said that many powerful magicians and even several holy magicians pay special attention to it, and seem to want to study it. Moreover, Li Fei's strength is also very strong. He uses a wooden sword and can summon various magical powers with some talisman paper, just like a magic scroll, which feels very strange. Both of them are ranked in the top 30 of the points list. Now that they are fighting, it is naturally a fight between dragons and tigers, attracting the attention of many people. Sorry, Reuben reminded, then raised his staff and took the lead in casting a magic. Accompanied by a low chant, almost in the blink of an eye, a wind wall appeared in front of him. This is a two-star magic, wind barrier. At the same time, Reuben's staff was shaking, and a hot light was gradually condensing at the top of the staff. Although it has not been cast yet, the hot breath has spread throughout the whole connection. Li Fei on the opposite side did not dare to underestimate it. Seeing that Reuben was still chanting and casting spells, he took the lead in attacking. He had seen such a wind wall many times, so he naturally knew how to deal with it. But he was holding a wooden sword, pinching the spell with the other hand, and then his footsteps flashed, stepping on a certain step, in a very strange but rhythmic way, quickly bypassing the wind barrier and coming to Reuben's side. A sword stabbed, wrapped in a whistling sound, it seemed that even the air was faintly pierced. Seeing that this thing was about to stab Reuben, but Reuben did not dodge. Dang, when the wooden sword was one foot away from Reuben, it suddenly made a crisp sound of metal and iron. Looking at Reuben, a layer of golden barrier was covering him at this moment. The wooden sword could not penetrate deeper than an inch. At this time, Zeng Fu's spell was also completed. A little light flew out from the staff and landed in the air above the arena. It immediately grew larger and covered the entire arena. The next moment, the whistling sparks fell like raindrops. These sparks seem small, but as long as they fall, they can make a crackling sound. Five-star magic. Meteor Shower. It is a magic that can only be cast by a five-star magician, and it is a large-scale group attack magic. If you want to release it, you need a very long chanting speed. But once it is cast, the power it explodes is very terrifying. Before the four-star magician, the power is not very strong, but once you become a five-star magician, the power will have a great improvement. With a wave of your hand, you will initially have the ability to influence the surrounding land and celestial phenomena. Facing such a powerful magic, Li Fei's face did not change. He took out a talisman from his arms and threw it into the air. The talisman was activated in the air, evolving the movement of the sun, moon and stars, and then the time in this area seemed to be frozen. The meteor shower suddenly stagnated, and then exploded in the air with a bang. Next, the two of them fought back and forth, countering each other's moves. In a short period of time, they fought each other several times. Although they are still in the stage of mutual testing, both sides have a basic understanding of each other's strength. Both Reuben and Li Fei knew it. Their strength is about the same. If they want to decide the winner, they must use their trump cards. But if so, Reuben's eyes flickered. Li Fei on the opposite side frowned, looking at the audience around him who were looking at him, and those magicians who were also contestants. Those who he suspected of being time travelers also looked over without blinking. He couldn't help but sigh. He came from Earth. He was an orphan who was picked up by the master of the Taoist temple when he was young. He grew up in the Taoist temple and depended on his master for life. In modern society, people have lost their faith, Taoist temples have withered, and incense is not prosperous. Dot 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 dot. Oh, the master made a living by reading faces, fortune telling, or giving advice on feng shui for the villagers at the foot of the Taoist temple. During festivals, he helped the villagers to worship and perform rituals, and in a year, he could support the two of them. That's how life went on. Later, when the master was dying, he called Li Fei to him. He told Li Fei the origin of this Taoist temple. Their Taoist temple inherited the orthodox Taoist skills. If he practiced seriously, he would definitely be able to practice real kung fu in the future. But unfortunately, now the world has changed drastically, and he is dull. After practicing for a lifetime, he has not practiced any door hall except for cultivating a body of quiet qi kung fu. He told Li Fei that after his death, 
If Li Fei is willing to guard this Taoist temple and pass on the door, then he should continue to stick to it. If not, then go down the mountain. After that, he handed the compass, the token of the door, to Li Fei, and then passed away and rode a crane to the west. Li Fei buried his master with a heavy heart. Then, he packed up the things in the Taoist temple and prepared to go down the mountain. After all, in this society, his temple in a mountain village could not support himself. On the last night before leaving the Taoist temple, he accidentally scratched his finger while packing up, and the blood also stained the compass. At that time, Li Fei did not mind. After packing up, he simply washed and went to bed. But who knew that when he woke up, he found himself in this world. Li Fei was not used to this world of swords and magic when he first came here. He wanted to find a way to go back. He kept experimenting on the compass that had come with him. He dripped blood to recognize his master, shouted and waved in the thundering place. But no matter what, no matter what he did, he could not go back. Finally, he gave up completely. He knew that he might never go back. However, just when he was desperate, he found that there was magic and fighting spirit in this world. And he found that the breathing method that his master had taught him before could actually work in this world. He could absorb the spiritual energy traveling between heaven and earth. Soon, he found that he could use some magical abilities. According to the skills taught by his master, Li Fei continued to improve his cultivation, and at the same time found a lightning struck wood to make a wooden sword for himself. He sacrificed himself a magic weapon in the way recorded in the skills, 71-0. When Li Fei was still very young, his master forced him to write down the skills, so Li Fei remembered it clearly. His strength continued to improve, and he found that he could draw spells, sacrifice magic tools, and summon thunder. Later, he killed a powerful monster in the jungle. It was because of this experience that Li Fei underwent a rapid transformation. He found a new goal. He wanted to constantly improve his strength in this world, so that he could transcend this world and find his way back. With this goal in mind, Li Fei began to practice hard. He practiced in the forest and traveled on the road. During his journey, he constantly improved his strength. Later, he saw a caravan being intercepted by thieves on the road, and Li Fei rescued it. In order to express their gratitude, the caravan gave Li Fei a lot of wealth. When they learned that Li Fei was going to practice on the road, they enthusiastically invited Li Fei to go with them. Li Fei gladly accepted it. On the way, Li Fei accidentally discovered that the goods transported by the caravan were soap and perfume. This made Li Fei realize that something was wrong. Under his inquiry, the caravan told the origin of these soaps and perfumes. Now, Li Fei vaguely felt that something was wrong. Soap and perfume don't require much technical content. But it's obvious that this is not something that this world can produce. Even if it can be produced. But how to explain the ceramics and liquor carried by this caravan? He can be sure that the place that produces soap, perfume, ceramics, and liquor must be weird. Maybe the other party is also a time traveler. Although this is just his guess, even so, it is enough to make Li Fei's mood turbulent. If possible, he wants to find out whether the other party is a time traveler. And how did he come? Is there any way to go back? Just when Li Fei was about to go and investigate in person, he heard the caravan talk about something important. Now the imperial capital is holding the magic alliance competition held every 10 years, and young magicians from all over the continent will come to fight for fame in the world. He keenly realized that this was an opportunity. So Li Fei rushed to the imperial capital. He had a hunch in his heart. He would gain more in the imperial capital. Sure enough, when he arrived in the imperial capital, he heard many rumors in the market that were incompatible with this world. But after Li Fei learned about it, he was almost certain that these people were definitely time travelers. After the initial excitement, Li Fei soon realized. The more time travelers there were, the more risk they would be exposed. Therefore, he had the same idea as Reuben, trying to avoid conflicts with time travelers in the early stage. And now, he had no choice but to step onto the same stage with Reuben. Looking at Reuben's eyes flashing across from him, Li Fei was also thinking in his heart. Should we continue to fight or not? If we continue to fight, we will be exposed more. However, just when he was thinking about it, he suddenly saw Reuben take out a piece of iron from the storage ring and then fly towards it. 
before Li Fei could react. But the iron suddenly swelled up in the wind and then turned into a huge shield. At the same time, Reuben put away his staff, and a large sword appeared in his hand. He stepped forward and rushed forward, and the white fighting spirit rose from his body. This sword fell down like a force splitting washin. Li Fei had no time to react. At this critical moment, he could only make up his mind and cross the sword across his chest. The next moment, bang, the sound of metal and iron clashing suddenly sounded. Li Fei only felt a huge force coming suddenly, and then his chest sank, and the whole person flew out. In midair, he spat out a mouthful of blood. Robin Bot wins. The host appeared at the right time and announced the result of the game. As Robin defeated Li Fei, the audience cheered again. Everyone was shouting Robin's name loudly. Robin, on the other hand, held his giant sword and faced the cheers of everyone with his head held high. As for Li Fei, he was struggling to stand up and accept the weight of the priest. Robin's sword just now used the power of a fourth-level knight. The blow fell down, and the force was far more than a thousand pounds. How could such a powerful force be blocked when it acted on a person? And Li Fei was just a Taoist priest. He only cultivated magic power, not physical strength. If it weren't for the spiritual power protecting his internal organs at the critical moment, I'm afraid he would not just spit out a mouthful of blood. Li Fei frowned as he looked at Robin, who was full of pride at the moment. I never expected that the other party would be so cruel. Sure enough, his previous guess was correct. If he hadn't been careful and didn't go looking for other time travelers directly. Otherwise, how could he have survived now? Although he had been practicing the art of nourishing qi since he was a child, and had developed a calm mind when facing major events. But after all, he didn't dare to take revenge after suffering a loss. HMPH, I'll remember this grudge, there's a long way to go. Li Fei snorted coldly, and then left the village. And Reuben also left from the other side at this moment. He had been observing Li Fei before, to see if this person was the kind of reckless person. As he fought, he found that Li Fei was a person who planned before acting. In other words, he would choose the most beneficial plan before doing anything. This also means that Reuben was not worried at all that he would do things that would harm others and himself in a fit of anger. This can be seen from the fact that Li Fei did not use his trump card for a long time, but was timid when making a move. So, Reuben took action himself. Since you don't make a move, I will. He simply made up his mind and used his fighting spirit to catch Li Fei off guard and defeat him. He got some points smoothly. At this moment, he looked at his points. He only needed one point to get into the top 25. At that time, he would get the ranking reward from the system. Reuben thought so in his heart. After several days of competition, the once-in-a-decade Magic League competition finally came to a successful conclusion. From tens of thousands of young magicians who signed up for the competition, 3,000 people were selected to enter the official competition, followed by the peak competition of 300 people. Then, in the end, the most elite 32 people were selected. Now, the list of 32 young magicians with the most points has been selected. On the Shadow Stone, 32 young magicians stood in the square, full of vigor and vitality. This photo was circulated throughout the continent with the monthly magazine of the Magic League. After the competition, people throughout the Holy Empire still talked about the 32 young magicians who stood out with relish. The mysterious Li Fei, the feudal Lord Reuben who emerged like a dark horse, the magician Rohan who controls the dragon, Adeline, the proud daughter of heaven from the Saint Laurent Magic Academy, known as the Iceberg Goddess. One name after another, became a legend circulating on the continent. Lin An also saw those young magicians. Among the 3,209 candidates who advanced, five of them were from Saint Laurent School of Magic. In addition to Rosa, Adeline, and Blair, there were two other students from the advanced class. They were all seven-star wizards, so it was normal for them to win one of the places. As for those who traveled through time, all of them advanced. In order to express the importance of the imperial family to these young magicians, they were also rewarded. After letting them rest for two days, the imperial family decided to hold a banquet in the palace, inviting the top nobles of the imperial capital, powerful holy magicians, and these young magicians to participate in this banquet. The banquet was held by the royal family, so naturally the royal family had to come forward. 
As one of the special judges, Lin En happened to be a prince of the empire, so Lin En replaced the royal family and became the leader of this banquet. But Lin En always hated these things. Therefore, the person who hosted the banquet became Miles, the chief supervisor of the palace. At the banquet, Miles warmly entertained the nobles and encouraged these young and excellent magicians. Although Miles was only a servant of the royal family, he had served several generations of his majesty, and his status in the court was absolutely transcendent. Except for his majesty and Lin En, as well as a prince and a princess, few people could surpass him. Therefore, even Miles' encouragement made these young magicians feel flattered. After all, even those nobles with the title of Duke and Marquis were respectful in front of Miles. What qualifications did they have to look down on Miles? The banquet soon reached the most exciting moment. Because there were no people with particularly high status, and although Lin En was a prince of the empire, he stayed in the corner and did not appear. Because they did not feel restrained. These young magicians began to gradually let go and wander around. Some approached the nobles and chatted with them enthusiastically and happily, while others chatted with those female magicians, hoping to become good friends with them. Of course, at this banquet, most of the men, no matter what they were doing, would pay some attention to the two figures. Iceberg Goddess, Adeline, and the Passionate Lilith. These two women, one passionate and the other cold, are two extremes in character and temperament. But the only thing they have in common is that they are both extremely attractive. Compared to Lilith, although Adeline's appearance is not the same as Lilith's, because of her cold temperament, she is alone, and her whole body exudes an attitude of, no strangers allowed. Many young magicians approached her, but none of them made any progress. In comparison, Lilith looked more casual. Many men were brave enough to approach her. And Lilith also smiled and chatted with the other party. Although Lilith also maintained a certain degree of politeness and distance, her every move was full of maturity, which made all the men present deeply fascinated by her. Lilith held a wine glass and politely rejected a noble who wanted to invite her to dance. The other party looked very regretful, but still maintained the richness of a gentleman. And Lilith looked at the other party's back as he left. Although she still had a smile on her face, she felt particularly sick in her heart. She knew very well what these men were thinking. But at the same time, she enjoyed the feeling of being the center of attention. Because of this, since she left school, she moved to the imperial capital, wandering among the nobles, enjoying a luxurious life and the attention of everyone. She liked it very much. But after a long time, she was still a little bored. She began to miss her life in the academy. Blair and Lin En. These two men are undoubtedly her favorite. At the magic competition, she saw Blair. He was still so handsome and fascinating. But compared with Blair, the high-ranking Lin En, the temperament revealed by his whole body, made Lilith instantly intoxicated. She wandered around those disgusting old nobles all day long, and she thought she would never have any illusions about love in her life. But when she saw Lin En, she felt that she was wrong. At a glance at the venue that day, Lilith felt that her blood was boiling. Blair was a dream that she could never reach in her previous life. But now, she is no longer interested in Blair, but has set her sights on Lin En. She swore in her heart that she would conquer Lin En. She wanted to make him kneel down in front of her. At this banquet, Lilith attended in a gorgeous dress. Although she was greeting these nobles at the beginning, her attention was actually on Lin En. At this time, Lin En was sitting in a chair by the window. The street lights outside shone brightly, reflecting on Lin En's face through the window. Lilith was deeply fascinated by him. What an unforgettable man. Lilith took a deep breath and rejected a man who came forward to clink glasses with her again. Then she picked up the wine glass beside her and walked towards Lin En with an elegant step. Lin En, teacher, long time no see. She came to Lin En's side, with a slightly raised corner of her mouth, with a touching arc. Her delicate fingers were painted with eye-catching nails, and the bright red wine in the goblet set off her beautiful face. Her voice was so full of magnetism, with elegance and calmness, she smiled and said, I didn't expect that we could meet again here, this is really a happy thing. To celebrate our reunion, why don't we have a drink together? She smiled, then raised her head slightly, I'll drink first. A shallow layer of red wine went down in the glass. Then, a bright red mark was left on the cup, and she flicked the cup with her fingers, making a crisp sound. 
She handed it to Lin An and said with a smile, Would you like to have some? At this point, her tone rose slightly, as if asking, and even more as if hinting. Hearing her words, all the men in the meeting room looked over. In this banquet, one is a high-ranking imperial prince and a powerful holy mage. The other is a beautiful woman with excellent appearance and hard-moving beauty. The conversation between these two people immediately attracted the attention of everyone in the audience. For Lilith, she now has only one thought in her mind. That is to conquer the man in front of her. Although she was just an inconspicuous little girl in the Magic Academy a few years ago, and even had some minor frictions with this mentor, it doesn't matter. She believes that Lin An will not mind. After all, she is so handsome now, and even though Lin An seems so cold, does he really have no thoughts about her? Over the years, Lilith has gained a lot of points through the system and has been outstanding among these nobles. And the magic competition a few days ago made her gain a lot of gains. Now she is top-notch in both appearance and magic talent. She believes that as long as she reveals such a thought, Lin En will never refuse. Lin En can have her, and she can also become famous on the mainland and get more points by doing good things with Lin En. This is a win-win situation. Just when Lilith thought she had it easy, she didn't see that Lin En's eyes flashed with a smile. Sure enough, after all these years, there is still no progress. Lin En was a little disappointed. He stood up and looked at Lilith, whose eyebrows were extraordinary, but there was no appreciation or greed in his eyes. He was still as indifferent and cold as usual. It was as if in his eyes, Lilith was like the dust ants under his feet, and it was difficult for him to say anything. Wine, no need. I have something else to do, everyone please do as you please. After saying that, he walked around Lilith and turned to walk out of the banquet hall. Soon, Lin An left this place under the stunned eyes of everyone. And Lilith was the only one left in the place. She was stunned, her face full of astonishment and disbelief. How could this be possible? She really couldn't believe her eyes. Lin An actually rejected her. Lin An actually dared to reject her. Why would he reject me? After a long time, Lilith came to her senses and regained her mentality. Looking at the direction where Lin En left, her eyes were full of determination. Little man, you can't escape from my palm. She thought confidently. Just as Lin En left the banquet hall. At the same time. On the other side, in the palace kitchen, which was only separated from the banquet hall by a wall. A group of maids and servants were constantly preparing ingredients for the banquet. A girl with a tired face and dirty body was painfully adding firewood to the stove. Although she looked dirty and her face was covered with dust, through the dust, she could still vaguely recognize that her appearance was very beautiful. Her name was Alyssa. She was just sent here a few days ago. She was the girl in the bright yellow skirt who was taken away by Lin An's servants in the Violet Garden. Now, she has become a servant who adds firewood to the Imperial Kitchen. In the palace, she is the person of the lowest status. Her only duty every day is to add firewood and cook for the palace. At this time, all the maids and servants are busy. In this room, a woman with big shoulders and a fat face is constantly patrolling the room. The severity in her eyes makes the people with the lowest status in the palace tremble in their hearts. She dare not be negligent in doing things. Be quick with your hands and feet, and do things quickly. Take care of these snacks for me. They are all for the nobles in the palace. Whoever dares to reach out, be careful to break her legs. The fat-faced woman scolded loudly. This voice resounded behind Alyssa, making her shiver all over, and she hurriedly looked after the stove more diligently. She was afraid that the fire would be too big or too small, and she would be punished again. In this imperial kitchen, there are also high and low status. The highest status is naturally the imperial chefs. They are masters hired by the palace. Some of them can even be summoned by his majesty. They have a very high status in this imperial kitchen and even in the whole palace. The next are some pastry chefs and supervisors. Below are ordinary maids and male servants. The lowest are people like her who were sent here because of their mistakes. People like them will never leave the imperial kitchen in their lifetime. Even if they leave, the most likely thing is to be sent to other places to do hard labor. This life is dark. Alyssa, who has been here for several days, has been looking for a chance to escape. But the palace is heavily guarded, and there are powerful magicians and knights guarding everywhere. 
It is simply as difficult as ascending to heaven for her to escape. It has been several days, and she still hasn't found any way. Alyssa is not from this world. She was originally a reincarnation, and later she came to this world after receiving a mission. She has only one mission, which is to capture the Prince of the Holy Empire, His Highness Lin En. The mission is at the highest level and the time limit is half a year. If successful, you can get the highest level of reward, if you fail, there is only one outcome, obliteration. After giving this information, Alyssa's task system was silent, as if it had never appeared. She couldn't even see the task panel. This made Alyssa doubt for a while whether the reincarnation system had collapsed. She thought about escaping, but thinking of the severe punishment of the reincarnation system, she didn't dare to put this idea into action. In the end, she could only comfort herself for the silence of the system. Perhaps there were powerful magicians in this world, and the system immersed itself in order to avoid being exposed. Waiting for her to complete the strategy and control this world, it can appear. After comforting herself in this way, Alyssa temporarily settled down and began to implement the plan. As a senior reincarnationist, she knew very well that it must be very difficult to be listed as the highest level task by the system. But what she didn't expect was that it would be so difficult. She only came into contact with the task target once, the king and then she was knocked down to the dust and became a lowest level maid. Although it has been several days. But when Alyssa thought of the look in the eyes of the prince, she couldn't help but feel a deep chill in her heart. This person is really terrible. So terrible that just a glance made her feel as if she had been seen through. You know, this has never happened in her previous reincarnation world. She has experienced more than 10 reincarnation worlds and completed the mission every time. She also met all kinds of people in the mission world. The emperor of a powerful dynasty, the elders of a martial arts sect, the heroes who shocked the world, and even the big bosses who sat in charge of a place but those people have never given her such a terrifying feeling. In other words, this imperial prince named Lin En is definitely more dangerous than the targets she has conquered in the past. And more difficult, no matter what, I have to complete the task. Although the task was difficult, Alyssa still had a firm belief and cheered herself up in her heart. She had to complete this task. In the world of reincarnation, you must complete the highest level of tasks to get out of the world of reincarnation. She hadn't seen her relatives and parents for a long time. When she was just selected as a reincarnationist, she was very happy and thought that she would soon transform from an ordinary person to a superpower. For this reason, she was addicted to the reincarnation space. In less than two years, she completed more than a dozen tasks and received very generous rewards. But compared to this, she has lived in the task world for a very long time. It was so long that she almost forgot what her parents looked like. Especially in this last task, facing such a difficult task, her desire to see her parents and relatives was infinitely expanded. And those power, appearance, love, and strength that she once pursued will eventually occupy less and less weight in her heart with the passage of time, and the power of family affection will become greater and greater. In the end, she finally realized that these external things were not important. Only parents and relatives are eternal. She finally understood that what she longed for most was lying in her mother's arms. That was the scene she longed for the most in her heart. Ext, apart from the hundreds of years she spent in the reincarnation world. In the real world, she is still just a teenage girl after all. The memories surged, and Alyssa couldn't help but smile. At the same time, it also made her determined. Go home. Must go home. No matter how difficult the task is, she must complete the task and go home to reunite with her family. She secretly strengthened her belief. What are you doing? Why don't you hurry up and work? At this moment, she was hit hard on the head, and then a stern reprimand sounded in her ears. This voice brought Alyssa back to reality. She trembled and hurriedly continued to add firewood. At this moment, she suddenly heard a hurried footsteps coming from outside. Then, the supervisor ran out. Some voices were faintly heard. Hey, Lord Bolton, what are you doing? This was the voice of the overseer. The voice AJAG was full of flattery. Alyssa could swear that she had never seen the smile of this overseer in the royal kitchen before. Unexpectedly, this overseer with a fat face would smile like this. Alyssa thought she would never smile in front of anyone. 
A little maid bumped into His Highness and tried to flirt in front of His Highness. His Highness sent her away. We dragged her away and prepared to send her to the laundry room. A male voice sounded. Hey, another one who wants to climb the ladder. The supervisor taunted mercilessly. These women, they don't think about doing serious things, but only think about taking shortcuts, flying up the branches and becoming phoenixes, are they worthy of it? That's not. Okay, let's stop talking, let's take this woman away first. In addition, the chief steward Miles also ordered that the identity and background of this woman should be dug out to see who sent her to the palace. A male voice sounded, and then the footsteps slowly walked away. Listening to these conversations, Alyssa couldn't help but sigh in her heart. It seems that there is another woman who has the same idea as her. These women are really enough. If this Prince Lin En can be conquered so easily, then why should they be the ones? It's ridiculous, Alyssa sneered, but she forgot that she used the same method before, and ended up becoming a maid. Stay here. Two palace guards threw a woman who was unconscious like a dead dog into the laundry room, and then gave instructions to the manager of the laundry room and left. After an unknown amount of time, Sharon woke up from the coma. Feeling the pain in her feet and arms, Sharon knew that this was caused by the guards rushing up and dragging her arms and legs sliding on the ground when she was beaten mercilessly by the prince. As expected, her arms were probably dislocated. And her feet were probably bloody. Looking around, she found that this was a very old house with a rotten smell. The area under her body was very damp and had a faint stench. After figuring out her terrible situation, Sharon was desperate, this was really the most tragic ending. It was even more painful than death. If he had known that this Highness Lin En was so difficult to attack, he would have given up this mission. She had originally chosen this mission just because she wanted to attack it, and she didn't have to fight desperately. But she had never thought that this mission with the highest difficulty was indeed unusual. First of all, after coming to this world, her cultivation was sealed and she couldn't use it at all. She had no choice but to rely on her identity and background in this world to find an opportunity to sneak into the palace. Under her secret activities, she did get in touch with a noble girl and successfully participated in this banquet in the palace. He knew that there were two very beautiful girls in the palace, and he had no advantage at all in either of them. So she waited on the way out of the palace, hoping to have a chance encounter with Highness Lin En in the flowers under the moon in the middle of the night. Under the flowers and the moon, a beautiful woman met by chance. In the novel, if a woman uses such a routine, almost no man can escape. Shalon can also catch it easily. But who knows, when she sees Lin En appear, she jumps out of the flowers and wants to stumble into Lin En's arms according to the original script, so that she can feel the atmosphere full of jade fragrance. Before she ran to Lin En, she was intercepted by an invisible barrier halfway. Then, a large group of magicians appeared from the dark. Those magicians with strong aura and fierce faces made Shalon feel frightened when she recalled it until now. They grabbed her rudely and conducted a comprehensive inspection. And her target, the cold and aloof His Highness Lin En, just stood there, motionless. He looked at her being inspected with indifference, as if he didn't see her tearful appearance at all. He didn't want to stand up for her at all. Then, she was knocked unconscious by several guards in front of Lin En, and then dragged all the way here. Thinking of her current ending, Sharon couldn't help but sigh. She is now the lowest ranking maid, and it is too difficult for her to get close to His Majesty Lin En again. It seems that this mission has failed. I can only go to the punishment world to accept the punishment. After struggling hard for many years, I have returned to the poverty before. She sighed and thought helplessly. Then, she withdrew her consciousness. Soon, this body fell limply to the ground. It was not until the next day that someone discovered that she died silently. Outside the palace, a large convoy was slowly passing through the central avenue of the imperial capital and heading towards the palace. In this large convoy, all the carriages were pulled by precious plum blossom beasts, and each carriage was extremely luxurious. In the middle of the team, there was a most magnificent carriage, pulled by two blue-eyed golden-eyed beasts. The carriage was made of the best ice wood in the far north and decorated with various extremely gorgeous objects. A soft canopy hung down from the roof, covering the windows on all sides. In addition, the whole body was engraved with complex magic patterns, showing its preciousness and the noble status of the people sitting in the car. 
such a gorgeous carriage team naturally attracted the attention of many people. In the imperial capital of the Holy Empire, although there are countless nobles, being able to use such a luxurious carriage when traveling is enough to represent the status of the carriage owner in the imperial capital. What's more, on the side of the carriage, a Saint Laurent logo was clearly engraved. This means that the owner of the carriage is from the royal family. The imperial family is very prestigious in the Holy Empire. Often when the royal family travels, they will be respected by the people and the nobles. However, this time, when the carriage was traveling on the Central Avenue, the onlookers did not dare to rush forward, but watched from a distance with cold and indifferent eyes. They recognized the owner of the carriage. When the carriage passed, no one spoke. But when the carriage passed, many onlookers secretly spat. Bah, which, such a person is still alive. Why would His Majesty keep such a person in the palace? It must be the witch who deceived him. They cursed in a low voice and pointed at the carriage. At the same time, in the grand carriage in the middle of the team, the window covered by the curtain suddenly opened a very small gap, and through the gap, ten delicate and smooth fingers like white jade carvings can be seen. The fingers only appeared for a moment and disappeared quickly. But if someone could see these fingers, it would probably be enough to imagine. In the carriage, a woman in a luxurious palace dress sat on a soft couch. She looked dignified, but in fact she was a little lazy, and her eyebrows opened and closed, with a hint of charm. Although the voices of passers-by were very low, she heard them. However, she didn't care. It seemed that these vicious curses didn't leave any ripples in her heart. Of course, it was unknown whether she cared or not. The spacious carriage was full of luxurious details. Many seemingly random utensils and objects were made of very precious materials. Especially the hollow ball hanging in the middle of the carriage, with a faint fragrance wafting out of the ball, filling the air. In the whole carriage. But because of the magic array, it can't escape at all. Smelling this fragrance is enough to refresh people. It's like being in a sea of violets in the hot summer, and a cool breeze blows. Bending over with the flowers, blowing the sea of flowers, blowing the mood. This is the emperor of the empire who specially searched for the exotic fragrance in the continent to please her. It took three years and made it with many of the top spices in the world. Its value is precious. Just the effort she spent in the carriage for a while, the fragrance consumed the value of the spices as equivalent to the lifetime savings of a five-star magician. And such luxurious spices are only for her. It can be said that she is extremely pampered. The carriage moved forward slowly without any contact. At this time, an old maid standing in the corner of the carriage stood up, knelt at her feet, and whispered, Madam, we don't have a token to enter and exit the palace. I'm afraid we will be stopped by the guards. Should we inform His Majesty in advance? His Majesty will definitely come to greet you personally when he knows. Hearing this, the woman raised her eyes slightly. After a while, she opened her cherry lips and said, Your Majesty is busy with all kinds of affairs. It is reasonable not to ask His Majesty to come in person, but to send a general manager. Her voice was very pleasant, like a wind chime under the eaves, with a hint of laziness in the crispness. But in the laziness, there was also a sense of warmth and tenderness. It was mixed with the fragrance of violets, which made people imagine it. T. At this point, she added, I heard that Your Majesty's little son is back. While speaking, the woman sitting on the couch picked up a fresh fruit from the fruit plate on the table and started eating it. The old maid was very considerate and took the shell from the woman with her handkerchief in both hands. Then the old maid lowered her head and said, I understand. Quote. Zero. D.B. Po. The woman waved her hand and became lazy again. She closed her eyes and dozed off. As for the old maid, she called a guard to go into the palace to report, and the carriage stopped unconsciously. Just outside the palace, waiting for His Majesty and the Prince to greet her. Inside Lin An Castle, Lin An was reading a book in the yard. On the table next to her was the list of winners of the previous competition sent by the Magic Alliance. According to the practice of previous sessions, the top 32 young magicians in these battles will receive the title reward granted by the Empire. The top three are Viscounts. The middle twelve are barons. The rest are all lords. In addition, in addition to the different titles, the size of the fiefdom of each newly promoted noble is also different according to the ranking. Don't look at these titles as small. But you have to know that this is a title conferred by the empire himself. 
Since Lin after Lin En began to manage the affairs of the empire, the number of titles granted by the empire each year became less and less. The Holy Continent has such a vast territory, but the empire personally grants only more than 10 titles each year on average. Most of them are low-level titles such as lords and barons. Because of this, the value of the empire's titles is getting heavier and heavier. Although the first three are only viscounts, they are more precious than the earls conferred by the dukes and princes. The Magic Alliance sent it to Lin An for review. If there are no problems, it can be approved. But Lin An was lazy and ignored it for the time being. Just as Lin An was reading, Miles suddenly trotted over. Although he was old, he was very strong, so he was still very fast when he moved. When he came to the yard and saw Lin An, he saluted first, and then said, Your Highness, that person, has arrived outside the palace. His Majesty is going to greet him, and please go and greet him together. Quote, the person Miles was talking about was the woman who was extremely favored by His Majesty. She had a special status in the palace, and she had no official status. Therefore, she could only be called, that person, in the palace. Hearing this, Lin En did not even raise his head and said in a deep voice, no. Lin En's words were very calm. But the indifference contained in them made Miles' hair stand on end at this moment, and he felt a chill on his back. Yes, Miles didn't dare to say more, lowered his head and agreed, and was ready to leave. But at this moment, he heard Lin En said casually, take the memorial on the table and let His Majesty review it. The young magicians who won the magic competition are all pillars of the empire and cannot be neglected. Your Majesty needs to give a reply as soon as possible. In addition, I remember that person has been living outside the palace before. As soon as this sentence came out, Miles was shocked. This memorial has been in front of Lin En for half a day, but His Majesty has never approved it. And now that person is about to return to the palace, His Majesty is going to take His Majesty to greet him. But His Majesty will not go, and he has to send this memorial to His Majesty. The meaning behind these words is clearly that he wants His Majesty to be in the palace as well, and not to appear in front of that woman. As for His Highness's last sentence, Miles' mind was spinning rapidly, trying to figure out His Highness Lin En's meaning. Suddenly, he seemed to feel His Highness Lin En's eyes, subconsciously raised his head, and immediately saw His Highness Lin En narrowed his eyes. Miles trembled all over, as if he had a sudden enlightenment, and woke up. He said with some tentativeness and doubt, I understand what your highness means. I remember that there is a long abandoned warehouse in the palace. Although the conditions are a bit poor, the overall place is still large and can be lived in after cleaning up. Hearing this, Lin An nodded slightly, then his eyes fell on the book and continued to read. And when Miles saw that Lin An had no other instructions, he respectfully said goodbye. After leaving the small courtyard, Miles could breathe a sigh of relief, with a look of fear on his face. He touched his back, but found that he had been soaked in cold sweat without knowing it. Thinking back in the courtyard, His Highness Lin En's eyes and movements made him tremble with fear, and he dared not even breathe. Miles could not help but sigh in his heart. This Highness is indeed a natural emperor. Although he is young, he already has the aura of an emperor. Miles has served several emperors of the empire, but he has never felt the majesty of Lin En in them. It's really terrible. Although His Highness is now called a prince, his prestige and power in the empire are actually not much different from that of the emperor. The only difference is a title. Thinking of this, he thought of that woman again, and a mocking look appeared at the corner of his mouth. Even if you confuse His Majesty, what can you do? In the Holy Empire, His Highness's words are still the law. As long as you can't pass His Highness's test, you are just a woman who can't stand up to the stage. Outside the palace, the luxurious carriage team has been parked for a long time. So long that the guards stationed at the palace gate would look over from time to time. The common people and nobles passing by also began to whisper. These people living in the imperial capital have often seen this convoy leaving the palace in the past two or three years. Therefore, many people also know who the owner of this carriage is. This makes them a little puzzled. The owner of the carriage is extremely favored by the current emperor, why did he not enter the palace for a long time after coming to the palace? Could it be that the emperor no longer favors him? Or, what other accidents have occurred? P. 
people speculated in their hearts. And some nobles who have connections or have heard some rumors did not dare to think too much and left here as soon as possible. After all, the water is too deep. So deep that they would be terrified to even look at it, let alone step into it. The sun gradually set in the west. The monster pulling the carriage gradually became anxious. The maids and knights who served the carriage looked back from time to time and secretly looked at the carriage in the middle. But to their disappointment, no one ever came out of the carriage. At the same time, in the carriage, the old maid kneeling in the corner had an anxious look on her face. The person who went to report had been there for two hours, but still did not come back. There was no news to report. This was unprecedented in the past. What happened in the palace? The woman in the gorgeous palace skirt was still using the fruit plate on the table. Although she did not know what was happening on her face, she was actually a little irritated in her heart. But she knew that the more she had to stay calm and not panic at this time. Otherwise, she would lose. After waiting patiently for a while, under the eager waiting of everyone, a group of people finally walked out of the palace. But to their disappointment, His Highness Lin An was not there. Even His Majesty was not there. Only Miles came over with a few maids and male servants. He walked straight to the gorgeous carriage. Miles bowed slightly and saluted. For this great director of the palace, a certain respect should be given. So, the curtain of the carriage was opened by the old maid. And the woman stretched lazily, with the posture of a sleeping crabapple, and asked casually and lazily, why didn't His Majesty come? Miles did not look at this woman, his eyes were dull, and the corners of his mouth were smiling, and he smiled and said, His Majesty is now approving the awarding of medals for the new magicians of the empire. He is busy with government affairs, so he can't come to greet you in person, and specially sent an old slave to welcome you into the palace. His Highness Lin An, why didn't he come? Isn't it busy with government affairs? Speaking of this, the woman seemed to think of something funny, and couldn't help but smile softly. Your Highness Lin An, Miles looked calm and said softly, I went to ask your Highness, and your Highness said. No time, two words, calm, plain, however, when Miles said these two words, the whole street seemed to be quiet instantly. The smile on the woman's face froze on her face immediately. It took a long time, as if she had just come back to her senses. She showed a thoughtful look on her face, gently stirring her fingers, and quietly looking at her nails. It took a long time before she said, Since your highness said that he is not free, then I think he is really not free. Her tone was also very plain. It seemed that she didn't care. But Miles saw from the corner of his eye that the knuckles of this woman's fingers turned white when she said this. Obviously, her inner rise was not as calm and natural as it appeared on the surface. His highness Lin N really doesn't hide his disgust for this woman at all. This thought flashed through Miles' mind, and then he continued, by the way, His Highness also said. What did he say? The woman asked calmly. His Highness said that he heard that you have been living outside the palace, and it is not convenient to go in and out. His Highness is sympathetic, so he specially prepared ten places for you to stay in the reconstruction. Please go there, and after you settle down, His Highness will welcome you when he is free. Miles said with a smile. While Miles was talking, the woman was eating fruit. After hearing this, the woman frowned, spit out the fruit core after a while, and said to the old maid kneeling on the side, this fruit is a little sour. This sentence obviously meant something. But after hearing this, Miles just smiled and said nothing. The old maid in the carriage knelt in the corner trembling, not even daring to make her heart beat loudly, and her breathing subconsciously stagnated. Your Highness is really, well-intentioned. After an unknown amount of time, the woman finally spoke. Well, since your highness has already ordered this, I can't be ungrateful, thank your highness on my behalf. As she spoke, she put away the curtain and sat back on the couch. Seeing the woman's somewhat flustered movements, Miles sneered in his heart. But his face remained calm, and he smiled and said, Why are you still standing there? Why don't you lead us to our accommodation? You'll have to watch out for your skin if you delay us. After speaking, he led the way with everyone in front. And the convoy followed behind him. After that, they slowly moved forward. Miles had a high level of cultivation, so even though he was some distance away from the gorgeous carriage, he could still hear it clearly. As the convoy continued to move, the sound of something breaking came from inside. 
Obviously, the woman was not as calm as she had shown before. Inside the carriage, the woman sat on the couch. But her body was violently ups and downs, and her eyes were flashing with gloom, which made the old maid next to her unable to suppress her inner panic. Good, very good, she laughed in anger. She opened her mouth as if she wanted to say something, but in the end, she didn't say anything. Didn't say it. Soon, the convoy entered the palace. In the palace, except for His Majesty, His Highness and the Queen, no one else was allowed to ride in the carriage, not even the Holy Mage. Although this woman was extremely favored by His Majesty, she had no status after all. In the past, when His Majesty accompanied her, no one in the palace dared to say anything. But today, His Majesty was not there, and His Highness's attitude was unclear, so the guards and servants naturally did not dare to do as usual. Stop the carriage and let these people enter on foot. During this period, the old maid wanted to say something, but was stopped by the woman. A quarter of an hour later, Miles led a group of people arrived in front of a dilapidated courtyard. This courtyard is located in the palace. Although it is extremely luxurious with carved beams and painted buildings, it has a stale smell and there is dust in some places. Obviously, it has been idle for a long time before. Looking at this dilapidated appearance, the old maid couldn't help it. Think of her master, how precious her body is. She has been like a golden branch and jade leaf since she was a child, but she came here to live in such a stale place. How can she bear such grievances? Just when she couldn't help but want to question, Miles took the lead and said, This is the residence prepared by His Highness for you. I wonder if it is thoughtful. His Highness Lin and is thoughtful, I am very satisfied with it. The woman said softly, That's good. Miles smiled and said, When His Highness said that he wanted to clean up this place, the servants dared not be negligent in the slightest. We rushed to clean it up in a short time and did not delay the nobles' rest. Otherwise, I really don't know how to explain to His Highness. His Highness said that you can live here with peace of mind. I heard that you like to go to the church to pray, and His Highness also specially arranged for the nuns of the Holy See to come here and preach for you every day. Maybe one day, your sincerity will move the gods and make the gods look down and pay attention to you. Miles smiled at this. The woman also smiled, looking very satisfied. Your Highness is really thoughtful, and I hope the general manager will express my gratitude to His Highness on his behalf. Of course. Miles nodded, and then said, Since the noble has settled down, the old slave will not disturb you any more, and I will leave now. With that, Miles left with a group of servants. After he left, the old maid couldn't help but said, Miss, look at this, can this be a place for people to live? I think that His Highness Lin An is clearly up to no good, otherwise how could he target you everywhere? Miss, when you see His Majesty again, you must complain to His Majesty and let His Majesty punish His Highness Lin An, otherwise how can we swallow this breath? The old maid seemed very angry. The woman was calm. Glancing at the old maid, she sighed in her heart. Su Lin An, others don't know, but she knows it very well. In this sacred empire, don't look at His Majesty as the Emperor of the Empire. But the one who really speaks the truth is Lin An, the youngest prince of the Empire. The whole court is loyal to this little prince. To put it bluntly, if Lin An directly spreads the word, they will have no place to stand on this sacred continent. Otherwise, when Lin An comes back, why would she have to wait outside for so long before coming back? She knows it very well. To deal with Lin An, you can't be tit for tat. You can only overcome hardness with softness. Thinking of this, she twisted her two fingers together fiercely. And on her wrist, where the sleeves cover, a half-hidden violet blooms completely, and a faint fragrance floats faintly. Outside, Miles is on his way back to report. He is followed by a group of servants. He walks very easily, and he seems to be in a good mood. General Manager, am I okay with this? At this time, a maid came up from behind and asked in a low voice. Not bad, I have taught you for so many years, and you finally got the hang of it. Miles said softly, this maid was the one he had chosen for himself. Her name was Dana. Miles thought that when he was old and could no longer serve, he would let Dana serve His Highness Lin An instead of him. Listening to Miles's praise, Dana smiled and seemed very happy. But then, she seemed to have thought of something and couldn't help but whispered, 
General Manager, you said that this person had been extremely favored before, why was she suddenly sent away now? Hearing this, Miles glanced at her. Then his face became serious. Dana, I still have to tell you something. These things are the affairs of the nobles in the palace, and we can't ask too much about them. The master has ordered, and we will do it. Of course, masters are also divided into big and small. Some masters are neglected, but they are still masters after all. As servants, we just treat them respectfully. But then again, how should we treat the neglected master with respect? That's another matter. In short, watch more, do more, talk less, and you can live longer. Miles's words are very pertinent. Dana knew that this was true, so she nodded and said, I'll remember it. Thank you, general manager. Yes, Miles nodded. Looking up, I happened to see the sunset slowly setting not far away. The fiery red sunlight dyed half of the sky red. It was a bit dazzling. After receiving the medals, the young magicians who won the Magic League competition will prepare to enter the secret realm. This secret realm is called Xiaoyi Qingtian. It is a small world attached to the holy continent. Hundreds of years ago, the god of law, Vino, traveled to the continent and accidentally captured this small world. He took it with supreme power, planted it in the soil, and watered it with the power of the god of law day and night. It took a hundred years for the small world to grow and stabilize, and condensed itself into the shape of a green leaf. That's why it got this name. The newly grown small world in this world has a fragile boundary membrane, so it can be easily understood by magicians to comprehend the laws. In addition, the world is born, and infinite magic elements are filled in it. Young magicians will make great progress by comprehending it here. Although it can only be opened once every ten years, and can only last for half a month at a time. But the magic power that can be absorbed here is equivalent to ten years of work in the holy continent. And to comprehend the law, this is an opportunity that is out of reach, and its preciousness is beyond words. There is still half a month before the portal of the small world opens. The holy mage who has been guarding it has been comprehending the fluctuations in the world, but found that this small world seems to have grown slowly in the past ten years. Even if it is opened, it can only accommodate less than twenty places. Less than twenty places. This means that among the 32 young magicians, some people will be eliminated. In fact, such things have happened in the past. After all, Xiaoyi youth is released once every 10 years, and it is not possible to have 32 places every year. The reason why there are the top 32 in the Magic Alliance competition is mainly because the first Xiaoyi youth has 32 places, so it has been passed down. But in the subsequent competitions, Xiaoyi Qingtian's quota is not fixed. Sometimes more, sometimes less. According to the usual practice, in addition to the top three who will definitely enter, the remaining places to enter Xiaoyi Qingtian generally depend on the magician's personal strength and the background behind them. There will definitely be no accidents in the top three positions. There will generally be no problems in the top twelve. The most likely to be eliminated and the most dangerous are the players at the back. In each quota, the candidates at the back are all fighting for the quota of Xiaoyi Qingtian, and they are in a mess. After the quota was announced this time, there were less than 20, which is the rarest in a hundred years. Therefore, there is still half a month before the secret realm is opened, and some people can't sit still. Some young magicians with backers began to wander around. The elders took their disciples and juniors to visit those powerful magicians who have the right to speak in the secret realm. Lin En was naturally asked by some people to talk to him, hoping that Lin En could speak. After all, strictly speaking, Lin En is the most qualified to speak in Xiaoyi Qingtian's quota. Whether it is his identity, his strength, or even his background. As long as he nodded in agreement, no one dared to stop him. And if he shook his head to refuse, no one dared to insist. But unfortunately, those who came to Lin En were stopped and could not see him at all. Lin En closed the door and refused to see visitors. He hid in the small building and didn't care about spring, summer, autumn and winter. If others did this, they would definitely make others angry. After all, everyone is involved, what qualifications do you have to stay out of it? But Lin En just has this identity and qualifications, so many people are very helpless. They can only give up Lin En's way and try other methods. The outside world has been arguing about this matter, and it has been half a month without a decision. 
Seeing that the time for the secret realm to open is getting closer and closer, if it is not decided, everyone will be implicated. As a last resort, everyone can only sit down and discuss it openly. It's strange. Although there were arguments about this quota in the past, after all, there have been many experiences. Logically, the quota should be decided soon this time. After all, there are conventions. But because the quota this time is too small. In addition, I don't know why, in recent years, more and more geniuses have emerged on the holy continent, and many old monsters who have been hidden in the world have come out. No matter what kind of monsters and demons they are, they have emerged. They are all old and powerful. And the apprentices they teach are not fuel-saving lamps. In this case, who is willing to give up such a quota? After all, entering once is equivalent to 10 years of work, and you can comprehend the laws better. This is equivalent to stepping into the level of the holy domain. If you miss this opportunity, it is not just a matter of being one step behind, but a matter of delaying every step. Many old monsters have a vague feeling that perhaps a golden age is coming. If you fall behind others by half a step, it will be difficult to catch up in the future. Most importantly, the Magic Alliance competition only faces young magicians under the age of 25. They will not be eligible to participate next time. So this time, they must fight. No one wants to give up this opportunity. As a last resort, everyone can only sit down and talk together. And Lin An, as a crucial person, naturally needs to attend. In the imperial capital, in a huge banquet hall. Nearly a hundred people sat here. In addition to the 32 young magicians, there are also their teachers and seniors behind them. In addition, there are the people in charge of the four major magic academies and the royal representatives who decide Xiao Yi Qingtian's quota. Therefore, more than half of the people in the entire banquet hall are holy magicians. The qi of these holy domain magicians is involved, causing various qi to collide in the entire banquet hall, interweaving but clearly distinguished. Because of the strong qi, the sky in the imperial capital and the surrounding area of thousands of miles has changed. In the sky, Sometimes the wind and clouds are surging, sometimes thunder and lightning, and sometimes day and night change. For a time, the weather was extremely terrifying. Those young magicians, feeling the terror of these holy domain masters, were frightened and silent, sitting in their seats honestly, not daring to move. Even those time travelers restrained their breath at this moment, and put on an honest look on their faces. Lin En sat in a main seat, with a calm face and a cold expression. Although he was in the noisy parliament room, his temperament was very cold, as if he was separated from them by a world. At this time, an old magician who had been sleeping for an unknown period of time was arguing endlessly. Along with his speech and the fluctuations of his mood, the breath of the holy domain masters rose and fell on him. Opposite him, another magician was arguing with him, refusing to give in. As the two of them could not reach an agreement, the others also became quiet as usual, and the venue became noisy again. Okay, everyone, be quiet. Quote, we are all holy magicians, and it is not appropriate to make such a fuss. Just as the banquet hall became noisy, a saint mage sitting in the main seat frowned and said. He is the instructor of Saint Laurent Magic Academy and one of the selected persons for this quota. His own strength has already reached the peak realm of the forbidden spell mage. In his long life, he has experienced countless years. Although there are dozens of Saint Mage Masters present, he can be in the top five in terms of cultivation. So when he spoke, the whole audience fell silent. The banquet hall became silent. At this time, the Saint Mage Master said, after confirmation, the opening quota of Xiaoyi Qingtian this time has been guaranteed to have 18 quotas. And among these 18 quotas, the top three have been occupied. This is the rule of the past and cannot be shaken. Two people from my Saint Laurent Magic Academy occupy the top three, and there are three more who must enter, which is six quotas. Quote, there are still twelve places left, fight for them. After he finished speaking, he sat down. There are eighteen candidates in total. Leaving aside the top three, Saint Laurent took three at once, leaving only twelve places. There is no doubt that this tone is absolutely domineering. But no one present raised any objections. After all, it was Saint Laurent who said this. He has the confidence and qualifications. 
The reason why these people present fought so fiercely and refused to give up an inch was that had already prepared for Saint Laurent to take a few places, and the Royal Magic Academy, which followed closely, would also take some. Bahinia and Warden must also need it. There will not be much left for them by then, so they must fight. Sure enough, when Saint Laurent's Holy Mage spoke, the Holy Mage from the Royal Magic Academy also spoke. Only two people from my Royal Magic Academy advanced, so they only occupy two places. Quote. After saying that, he also sat down expressionlessly. This time, two more places were removed. Only ten places were left. At this point, the entire venue was quiet, and everyone's eyes were on the two magic schools, Bahinia and Warden. Warden Magic School takes two places. Bahinia Magic School needs two places. The remaining two magic schools also expressed their opinions one after another. Each of them wanted to take two places. So, there were only six left. But it was meaningless for everyone present. After all, except for Saint Laurent, which had a transcendent status among the four magic schools, the Royal Magic School was usually more Buddhist, and Bahinia and Warden usually had two to three places in previous years. The quota was tight this time, so they only took two, so it was normal. Just when everyone was preparing to compete for the remaining six quotas. At this time, a holy mage suddenly spoke, Wait. I remember that only one student from the Bahinia Magic Academy entered the top 32 this time, why did you, Bahinia, take two quotas? As soon as this sentence came out, the whole audience suddenly quieted down. Yes, only one person from Bahinia advanced this time, why did you take two? This is not okay. Bahinia must give an explanation. Everyone reacted and questioned. In previous years, Bahinia always took two or three quotas, so they were used to it and thought that Bahinia would still have two people advancing this time. So when the instructor of the Bahinia Magic Academy spoke, they had forgotten about it. But now they all reacted. Hearing the questions from everyone, the Saint Mage of the Bahinia Magic Academy who had spoken earlier froze. Then he looked to the left with an unnatural look. Sitting on his left was a young and beautiful woman. She was wearing a bright red skirt that only reached her knees, highlighting her slender figure. She was tall and well-proportioned. On her flawless white neck hung a string of dark gems, which made her skin more delicate and smooth. Her facial features were delicate and her appearance was stunning. It was Lilith. In fact, in this banquet hall, when those saint mage instructors were arguing for the quota, many young magicians on the field were secretly looking at Lilith. Feeling the gazes of the crowd, although Lilith seemed to be indifferent on the surface, she actually had a smile on her lips, which made people think about it. The holy mage glanced at Lilith, and when he found that she didn't say anything, he cleared his throat and said, As one of the four top schools, it is customary for our Bahinia school of magic to have two places. Although it is customary, it is different now. After listening to the teacher of Bahinia school of magic, a holy mage said, The quota is so tight this time. Since only one student of your Bahinia school has advanced, you can only take one. That's right, you can only take one. Why take two? Even Bahinia school needs to abide by the rules. Everyone echoed. X. Listening to everyone's doubts, the holy mage didn't know what to say for a while. But he knew that if he couldn't give a reasonable explanation, he would definitely not get this quota. Even in the name of the Bahinia Magic Academy, it is not possible. Thinking of this, he simply made up his mind and said, In fact, this time I got two places, one for the students and the other for my own selfishness. In the past two years, I have accepted a new apprentice, Lilith, who sits next to me. She has a good talent for magic and has a very bright future. It's just that she didn't perform well in this competition, so she won the 33rd place and missed the qualification for the ticket. Originally, Lilith had decided to give up this secret realm entrance, but as her mentor, I think her talent cannot be wasted. So I decided to fight for a place for her. Speaking of this, he stood up and said to the many holy magic masters in the audience, please give me a little face. I have only accepted such an apprentice in these years, and I really don't want to let her talent down. Hearing this, everyone was silent for a while, not knowing what to say for a while. They all knew this holy magic master very well. As the mentor of Bahinia, he has been in charge of the magic competition and the secret realm for hundreds of years, and he is very fair in dealing with people. 
Many of the people present have received favors from him. Logically speaking, since the holy mage has said so, they should give up such a place. Just when everyone was still hesitating, Lilith suddenly stood up. She bowed slightly, saluted to everyone, and said, First of all, thank you teacher for your love for me. The teacher has done a lot for me, and Lilith is very grateful. This time, the secret realm was also encouraged by the teacher to let me participate. So please give me this opportunity. No matter what the future holds, Lilith will remember it in her heart and will never forget it. The voice resounded throughout the venue like a silver bell. It echoed faintly and reached everyone's ears. Hearing this voice, many young magicians showed an obsession in their eyes for a moment, and their minds were full of imagination. And those holy magicians seemed to be persuaded, and their faces eased a little. Seeing that everyone was about to agree. At this moment, a voice suddenly sounded. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.